That's right. After 10 years, I uh, finally decided to pull the plug. I pulled the plug. Uh, the life support that was my PC. The uh, Well, say the news. And you, I purchased a new one. Baby. You bought a new I PC? I purchased a new one yesterday. Oh, no, I traded it in for a younger model. I'm, I'm so proud of you. And I'm super excited. Yeah. I am super duper excited for that. Uh, welcome, everybody, <laughs> to the X1 Bros. By Bills. the way, yes. I got to say, 10 years without buying a PC is quite the drought. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think I, I think I future-proofed my... It's worth it. Let me tell you this. I was telling this to my wife yesterday because uh, I was persuading her that justifying my very expensive purchase. Um, I was saying, I when I bought my, my PC 10 years ago... I bought top of the line. It cost me like two thousand dollars. Yeah, and if it future proofs it, yep. really, I mean, it really does. Yeah. I upgrade yeah. here and there. My mo- my mother, who always pay- purchases like lower mid tier, you know, desktops, has purchased mom, like mom tops, mom tops. Yeah, has purchased three or four mom tops. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's why you go big or go home. Right? Yeah, and and I bet you, I bet you, the price works out. I bet you, I paid less over that ten years because I future proofed myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, so it's always always worth it. Welcome everybody to the show. This is podcast number one ninety six. As always, wait, we are your positive gaming and Xbox One community yeah. and podcast. There we go. Yeah. As always, I'm joined by the bros, the X One Bros. It's Mister McSpicy down on the end. Hello, how's it going, Mark? How was how was your week? It was, it was decent. It yeah, was anything re- anything new, fun, and exciting happened to you? Um, well, it was one of those work weeks where I didn't have a lot of time to do Ouch, fun stuff. Yeah, that's and it was it was scary. I got scared. That does. You went to the gym today. I I've gone to the gym every day this yeah, week. Yeah. How how was your gym? What'd you do today? Uh, so I did core. Oh, it or not. I did cardio and core. The two C's. Yeah, I told my wife because I've gone to the gym every chance I've gotten every day this year. Oh, good. Good. So that's a, what. A month. Okay, sure. Which is really, I mean, that's good for me, I guess. But I told her I see zero improvement. (laughs) It's all diet, man. That's so tough. It's so tough. But uh, but I've I've improved. I do 30 minutes of cardio every day. And then I do, I choose a muscle. And my my strategy, this is just mine. So this is probably why it's not working. Because I don't read anything on how to do anything right when it comes to exercise. Uh I start from the beginning of the week. I start from the head down. So I do shoulders, then I do chest, then I do arms, then I do back, and then I do core, and then then I eventually go down to the legs. Very nice. I like that. And then then I rinse and repeat. uh, So you've seen improvement in this respect that you just don't realize. You're at least maintaining your like weight, your everything, yeah, yeah, because you're basically yeah. breaking even for what you eat yeah. for the day, or at least slowing down the gain. Do you know what my secret gain. is? Yo. There's two things, my Nintendo Switch and Shark Tank. Beautiful. Oh, Shark Tank is so Shark good Tank's at the good gym. Show, yeah. I also have Hulu uh, right lost now. myself in a Shark Tank or two at the gym. It's like, it's on when I go. It's because they have all those TVs up on the wall. Yeah. yeah. It's always on. And I'm just like, oh, shoot. I went over on my cardio again. Darn Next. It. Oh, sorry. Oh. Next, right here in the middle with the Xbox Ambassadors t-shirt on from uh-huh. E3 2017. Yeah. It is Jordan, the man, Jordan Paskett. Hey, hello. Jordan, how uh, how was your week? Anything new, fun, and exciting happened for you? No, no, nothing at all. Now you, we stuff. got to dive into a little more Monster Hunter. Well, I mean, I guess that's fun. I played games. Yeah, than we did last week. So let yeah. me tell you, last week you were impressed with it. Uh-huh. How has your opinion evolved this week? Has it improved? Has it's it... really good. So one weekend, this is our last one week weekend review. This week it's really good. This week it's really good. Yeah. What uh, what stands out to you the most? That you didn't know last week that you now know this week maybe because it's a super deep game. Yeah, it really is. I'm still learning stuff. I learned stuff today. Yeah, uh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. You were you were impressed with my sword, which I call the flaming Wayman <laughs> sword. Is, it it's is. just it's the, the flaming, flaming great sword, and it's I, a good one. I I don't know exactly the title. It's a long, complicated <laughs> word that has a W in it, so I've just referred <laughs> to it Wayman. as the flaming Wayman. 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 Flaming Wayman. Flaming Wayman. Flamin Wayman. Wayman. That's right. Fl- Flamin Wayman. I use the bow because I really <laughs> oh, yeah. like uh, I really like the bow. That's what I plan on using. Yeah, actually, David yeah. actually is shifting over to the bow gun. Ooh, yeah. There's a bow gun. The heavy bow Dude, gun. There's everything. Yeah, I'm going bow gun. I now I got two, so I'm switching over to bow gun because where I'm at, there's also a light. Bow where gun. I'm at, there's a lot of flying <laughs> creatures, and I don't feel like using my sword on those flying creatures. For so sure. I'm well, it really the, is because the they, they were saying uh, that changing weapons is like changing a class. It really is because the bow. I started out with the sword, and then I switched the bow. The bows really, I mean, they're they're different. It's a different play style. Yeah. But it's a lot of fun. I like it a lot. I like. We learned a lot more about crafting and how multiplayer works, which yeah. I get it, and I kind of like. Okay, this is going to be a weird, complicated sentence. Okay. Their multiplayer is a little tedious, but I like how it works. Oh, okay. 
I, so if yeah. that makes sense. No, I think you have to play the sense. game to understand okay. that sentence. Because so you can essentially have 16 players in one lobby, which yeah. is basically uh, the main city, which we'll compare to the tower. It's an in instance, Destiny. right? Yeah, it's, it's essentially the tower. Yeah, okay. Right. Except you have to actually join people's games. It's not like just randomly throwing yeah. you into a, yeah. as, as session or yeah. whatever, right? But what I've been doing, and once you get this, and it definitely benefits you when you're in a squad, which is a guild. A squad okay, is a guild, yeah. which number so, one is confusing. Don't do that to people. Also, my yeah. criticism is entitling it a squad yeah. instead of a guild or a clan. But yeah, moving on. Yeah, I yeah. So moving so, on. What I do is I used to just create my own private session when I joined, but once yeah. I understand how multiplayer worked, what I do now is even if no one's on, I always jump in and I go create or find a squad session. Because yeah. what happens is there's three options when you start up the game: there's create a session, join a session, or join squad session. Now, what yeah. that third one does is it automatically puts all your squad mates into one session. Yeah. Or if no one else in your squad is on, it'll create a session for just your squad mates. Okay. And what's cool about that is you jump in, you're in the social place. I always hit the list to see who's on. There's always about four or five people on, yeah. you know, a little bit more, a little bit less, right? Depending on the time of the day. Yeah. What's nice is if you're in the mood to play with someone, you can be like, hey, guys, meet me up here. Let's play a mission or two. Or you can just join and do your own thing. You can still progress your single player campaign without ever being and in sometimes but the reason i join it is because like sometimes i'll play a mission by myself and then like someone will say something or want to do something or post something i'll be like oh yeah i'll join that so it's kind of it's really nice that's just what i do because you can really do whatever you want yeah i know absolutely uh what i like to do is even in my single player game so the other day i was the other morning i was streaming and i was fighting the n and jenna and and a Jeff. The, the Flame and Wayan. The <laughs> with my Flame and Wayan. Wayan. <laughs> Wayan. Flame and Wayan. Uh, no, it's the T Rex dude. The yeah, t- the Anna Jeff. Anna Jeff. I, I always mispronounce him. I pr- mispronounce all these names. But uh, and I was struggling with it. And Creed and Eve, since since it, even though it's my campaign, yeah. Creed and Eve jumped in and uh, helped me hammer him. You shoot up an SOS flare. It's great. Oh, did I did shoot up an yeah, SOS flare? That's probably how he that's joined how you, I did yeah. it. That is how I did it. And so that's that's a ton of fun, but that is my one criticism. What's an, what's an SOS flare? That's the oh shiz. That's the oh shiz. That's, that's literally what it sounds like. You shoot up an SOS, SOS the, flare saying, guys, I'm dying help. out here. And uh, people are like, well, let's respond to the SOS let's flare. Let's go help him. Let's yeah. go help and the him Coast Guard out. comes and it's crazy, man. <laughs> the Coast Guard. <laughs> yeah. do, 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> they jump in and. Last but not Ashton least. Kucher comes yeah. out and tries <laughs> to save you. Yeah. I am X1, <laughs> a.k.a. David Paskett. We are the X1 bros. Monster Hunter, I am loving it. It's a lot deeper. This is my one week in review. I'm about uh, 14 hours into it now. So not that much. I mean, I know there's a lot of guys out there with a lot more than me in a week, but uh, 14 hours in. The story is decent. I'm not going to say it's the greatest story of all time because I don't think it's the greatest story of all time. But what they do is fun, and and I was and I was saying this the other day. I it's one of those games. I what gets me in games like Destiny or even Diablo or is the grind. I eventually get bored of the grind, and it it, it struck like the carrot is never enough for me usually mm-hmm. to keep going with the grind. Beyond, I have to have very specific goals like oh we're raiding this weekend. I gotta build up and then I'll go grind. But. That gets boring for me, usually with most games. For whatever reason, I don't know how Monster Hunter does it, but and I don't know why, but it's not boring for me in Monster Hunter. And I think it's the battles. I think I think number one, there is enough variety of crap to do. Yeah. That there's never any one thing, and they mix it up where you can grab bounties, you can grab inve- investigations. Well, the and, thing is, you're always progressing too, and you're right? always progressing. Yeah. And there's such a variety of things to do, of of monsters to hunt, if you will. That uh, it keeps it super fun. So at this point in the game, one week review in, I have to highly recommend this game. Yeah. I to everybody. Uh, I think, I think this is. Wait for it, and I'm gonna get some flack for this, but I think this is the Destiny killer, so to speak. Like I think this has that carrot on a stick that Destiny Two was never able to get back from Destiny One, at least in my opinion. I yeah, be, okay. Now keep in mind. I am uh, a casual Destiny player, so this is this is from a casual standpoint. Maybe the hardcore players might disagree with me, but it has a Monster Hunter has a bigger draw at this point than Destiny Two did. Yeah, and Destiny Two is a fantastic game. Don't get me wrong, yeah. but I can see this lasting longer. Um, Gregory Bum writes in, 
and wants to know, do you think that with no PvP, there's the possibility of hitting a wall in Monster Hunters? He says, I've been loving the game so far, but find myself wondering, wondering if once I get to a high enough level, the game might get slightly boring. Watching some streamers who have beaten the game, uh, it felt like what they were doing towards the end game was not much different from what I've been doing. The co-op hunting is super fun, but do you think that in the next few months, uh, it will be enough to keep players in the game? Jordan. I think so. Yeah. Because it's fun with no PvP, I think they'll. Well, intro- well so, you got to realize they have arena. The th- they have different modes. Well, so yeah, they have the arena, which is is not PvP. It's you go in with your friends and you fight well a friend. Yeah, and you one fight friend. monsters with like presets and stuff, which is is kind of cool. We, me and David, did it once and didn't do so well because we didn't know what we were doing at the time. <laughs> yeah, no, we got but rocked. They they have that that events tab. I keep looking at that because they can add. I mean that that can be your end game lifeblood. You know what I mean? You yeah. can add crazy different events. They've already announced that they're adding new monsters and stuff like that, and they're going to have a whole slew of yeah. you know free content. Now, as for paid content, I'm you know I don't know about that. I'm I sure can, at a certain point they'll yeah. come out with maybe paid content like DLCs or expansions. But with that events tab that they have, they can I assume anyway. And this is just me. Yeah. My my Western thinking here, but I assume <laughs> You're Westernized. Yeah. I assume that they can just say, oh yeah, month of February is blah event right and they can come out with this huge kind of quest event or something like that i mean oh yeah really sky's the limit with that task, the thing you know? with it the thing with it, their style the style of game the, the game that they've created is you bring in a new monster and that brings people right back into the yeah. game and and you could do that once a month i mean just one new month I well mean, it's and not- that's that's how you can progress your end game you can release a monster because when you release a monster you're technically releasing a whole new gear set yeah no that's true because you need that monster's hide and then you could get super tough monsters yeah. and stuff like that. And 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 I will say this: what they what they do do that nobody's been able to compete with Destiny. But I do like these armor sets, and yeah. I do like the weapon options as you upgrade the armors. That's a huge monsters, draw yeah. that nobody's been able to keep with Destiny. And I still think Destiny probably owns the sexy factor there a little bit. But Monster Hunter is right there with it, and no other game has been able to do that up to this point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, one thing that was hilarious is today I have the bone set armor. Which I love. Yeah, mm-hmm. I like it because it gives me uh, bonus health and such. It's, it's just tough. Uh, but there's no pants to it. It's basically yeah. a loincloth. And I was we noticed the details. Yeah, let me tell you the detail <laughs> that Jordan pointed out. Um, I was laying on the ground shooting my bow, and I'm right behind it, and you just see right up my skirt, it's right <laughs> oh, up it, oh, right yeah. up it. Well, that sounds, yeah, that yeah. sounds a hot. Small tell you, pair I'm, of underwear. I get, I get intimate with this character <laughs> on a regular basis. Yeah. It's a good time. Anyways. Highly recommend uh, Creed and Even Chat says as someone Mark, who put, uh, Mark had to play a little bit of it today. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh, just the very beginning. Yeah. One second. Creed and Eve says as someone who put in many hours in Destiny, uh, I like Monster Hunter more. I I I do think I do think that that is well, going Monster, to be the trend. I was trend just telling here. you guys before the show, it's it's basically rinse, slather, repeat, right? I mean the formula, oh, yeah. right? But I don't know why it hasn't got bored. No, yet. and it doesn't. And bored? N- not any yeah. not anytime <laughs> soon. Mister McSpicy. Now this is basically your first impressions. Here you got yeah, it today. I, I got you, it today. You jumped in. Initial was, thoughts. It was like an hour before the uh, before the podcast. The no, question everybody's everybody has on their mind. Yeah, oh, what'd you name your palico? Oh, my cat. Yeah, yeah. Your cat. buddy. <laughs> <laughs> He's my yes. buddy. Two D's. Yes. Two D's and a Y. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. I gotta show you guys. How do I how do I make this bigger? This picture because I gotta show you what my guy looks like. He's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> can you can you guys see my? Oh, I, wow, that that's that's a Let man. Can you turn this? Can you are you able to turn I, I can't, around? Cause that's a monster hunter. Yeah, not that right there, David. Oh. Whoa, no. it's right on there on my. Who, he looks like that character. Who's the, the who's the old guy Correct. in Mortal Kombat? I have ch- I have comments already on it, and oh. people are hoping that I went with that look. Oh <laughs> yeah, we got to get you in the squad too. Anybody yeah. in the community, if you'd like to join the squad, come over and join us on Discord. We're there on Discord. Uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The whole community is there. Uh, it's a fabulous community. No trolls. And when there are, we just ban them right away. We have no qualms about it. This is a positive gaming yeah. community. But come join us. It's a good time. And games like this that aren't uh, in that haven't quite figured out the online easy yeah. join are built. Really, Discord is built for this. So I got uh, to say, I got to say, I have a hard time with, uh, you know, choices. Yeah. And, you know, it's just. That's why I couldn't finish Dragon Age Inquisition because okay. I couldn't figure out whether I wanted to kill the guy or not. <laughs> sure. The choice right at the beginning when I start the game: Do you want to have good graphics or do you want to have frame rate <laughs> or I, or high? You resolution. can change it anytime. I've changed mine yeah, twice you can now. It See, I didn't know that. Yeah. And I've sat there for about <laughs> ten minutes going. Ugh. What did you choose, by the way? Frame rate. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> I I chose frame rate at first too, but I think I might switch over to graphics for a little while. Yeah. I don't know why. I was on graphics. Of the shadows. I was yeah. on they graphics. Said more shadows, <laughs> and I want more shadows. I was on graphics, and I switched to frame rate. Oh, you were? Yeah. Okay. The was only there one. Issues? Well, maybe I'll try the. 4K. No issues, but I do. I like it. I like it smooth, baby. I yeah, sat there 60, for a good you know. 10, 15 minutes nice. going. Hmm. Very nice. This is a tough decision. <laughs> And it's Very not even nice. part of the game. Anyways, come join us on Discord. It's where we're all at. Uh, X1bros.com forward slash Discord. Or go to X1bros.com. Hit the Discord button that's there. Uh, if you'd like to join our squad, just go to the MMO tab inside Discord, as I consider this, uh, Monster Hunter MMO-like. Yeah, so yeah. that's where I do all the conversations. Uh, I will post when I'm on. Unfortunately, and this is my big criticism, they've got to get this figured out and they've got to do a patch. Yeah. To join our squad in Monster Hunter, I have to be on. You have to be in my session. And then I have to send you an invite. So what I've been doing is logging on randomly throughout the day at all different times to try and catch everybody with different time zones and just posting in Discord, hey, I'm on. If anybody wants on, here's the here's the online code. They jump in, and I, I shoot them a quick invite there. Then you trade Pokemon cards. And then we trade Pokemon cards. That's yeah. absolutely right. You do. You literally do. It's called, you, a, yeah. guild, it's called a guild card. Guild card. I call them Pokemon cards. For sure. But you I'd trade say, guild I, cards. I'm not even that far yet to figure Well, you never out. answered. Uh, how, what are your first impressions? Yeah, first impressions, dude. Oh, or did you literally just create that well, wonderful so monster I'm, hunter? It's I, basically touring. Yeah, hometown. I'm touring the town now. Yeah. So I made yeah. it past the initial. You just got stage. off a slaghorn and. Yeah, exactly. Slaghorn and... from Pacific Rim. That's what that I is. own a slaghorn uh, for in Hero Clicks. Remember, I would yeah. crush you guys because yeah. he was like unstoppable. Yeah. Remember that move? Yeah, and it really. That, you're so stupid. I hate it. That was when he didn't know how to play the game, and then we found out how, how to play the game. And he, <laughs> we find out how to play the game, and he still killed us. Yeah, it's That's big, like the most overpowered character. It's way in OP. Any I bet you game. he's not allowed in any tournament play ever. <laughs> it's so stupid. Because even the other Pacific Rim characters can't compete with him. Yeah, because you have like a. A health gen That's option. Why we just like yeah, it's, point it's, it's if I roll game. a certain number, or it's like when he gets to eight or nine, I think. He he flips back. He flips, yeah. He, and you get a re, you got to kill him twice, basically. And then you and he's a ten character, so he has a whole large life you that you lower can get. the point level, then you can't use him. So. <laughs> oh man, hero clicks, uh, good times. Yeah, it was anyway, so sorry, stupid. You would look at us and we would explode in that game. <laughs> That's all that character was. We threw me and Jordan were both like teaming up against you, and you just knocked us out. <laughs> no, so dumb. <laughs> why would they even? St- why would they do that? That's why I like digital games <laughs> where they can, you know balance oh yeah because that, that is not balanced so what did you think of what you've what you've had to taste so far no i had i was i was in tears laughing at my character yeah. <laughs> laughing yeah. and it took me a good half hour because I, I i go into details yeah. get the makeup well on, then you the had nice to go to the lipstick. cat screen <laughs> yeah and then you got the cat with the cute eyes yeah. and you no, can change his meow i'm i'm excited to get into this game i haven't got like i said i haven't gotten far but from what i've seen and i've seen the bow and i want to get the bow yeah mm. and apparently there's more than one bow there's three different bows well there's the there's the gun there's bows. the bow a light gun bow and a heavy gun and bow. a heavy gun bow but then on top of that you can customize your bow and make it look however you want and change stats yeah of it. i'm, so ex- it's I'm quite, excited it's Squad. It's really and dead. also okay, I got a shout have out. Have you done a hunt at all yet? You no, no, I've just been exploring. Yeah, so you haven't the met the Pookie Pookie yet. I, ooh, the Pookie that, Pookie. That sounds yeah. that sounds kinky. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, you got to shout out who? Who do you got to shout out? This guy, Jordan. Oh yeah, oh. because he's basically my drug dealer. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Games. yeah. Jordan gifted me this game. Oh yeah. And the reason I wasn't uh, the reason I hadn't gotten it yet is because work has been so. Hard. I saw you said it's like a drug. I it, mean, you would lo- you wanted to be irresponsible. You were trying re- to be responsible. The, re- the reason I didn't want to play the game yet is because I needed. <laughs> I had to dedicate so much time to work. But no, my drug dealer calls me in the morning. Check your email. Check your email right you, now. You got to check your email. I, I, email. I have something for you. Yeah, and well, next to the, the naked you guys, picture you guys, of himself <laughs> is a game code. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You guys should check your because I used my Microsoft points for it. You should. Check I got to check mine. You guys check your rewards. Yeah. So, yeah. I love you, man. We buy so many games; they give us reward points every once in a while. Boom! Very nice. The first taste is free. Yeah. I did almost. I was telling you before the show. I almost <laughs> bought you a game today too. Oh, the yeah. railroad game. You gotta look oh, into it. Man. I've got to look railroad tycoon. Rail, I almost railroad, bought railroad it. world. Yeah. Railroad tycoon. I'll have to. It was. It looked. Dude, cool. I'm there. I love that stuff. It looked cool. Yeah. You start in like the 1830s and you make your way on the, the Xbox 20th century. Oh, on the Xbox. Oh, yeah. And really? it's enhanced. How much is it? Sixty. It's bucks. enhanced. Oh, sixty oh, bucks in. though. Yeah, it's enhanced. I'm telling you, he's a drug dealer. <laughs> it's. I'll, I'll tell you what. If I have if I have a bunch of Microsoft points that I could cash in, I will be all over that. Bad boy. We'll yeah, be, no, it's we'll be conductors together. <laughs> it's shoot. <laughs> it, no, it, it looked awesome. It's roller coaster tycoon with railroads. That's what it is. Big announcements here. 
big announcements. First and foremost, I do want to uh, give a quick shout out to a brand new member of the community, MK Ultra Dragon. He's new to the community, and I love his gamer tag. I do like it as so, well. So, uh, welcome to the community, MK Ultra Dragon. Oh, nice. It's cool. Do we yep. have a sound for like a welcome? Uh, a welcome sound? Let's give him a custom welcome sound here. What do we want? What do we want? Do we want to do a golf clap? Uh, let's golf clap him. Let's golf clap. Yeah. Nothing All says right. welcome like a like a hesitant golf clap. Oh, yeah. Yes. Welcome. Welcome, MK. <laughs> welcome to all our new members. We got a lot of new members of the community. Uh, welcome to everybody. Big announcement here. And I want the Houston on this one. The Houston sound. Uh, the Houston sound? Long time with the Whitney. Oh, the Whitney. The lo- okay. long the time, Houston. Right. long time member of the community, MMA, had a baby boy nice. this week. Woo. He's adorable. Congratulations, yeah. MMA. This is for you. <laughs> yes. A new X1 bro has been born. Okay. We got Whitney. We hit Whitney. Whitney. Whitney, baby. <laughs> Congratulations to MMA on your baby boy. That is fantastic. Guess what time of month it is, everybody. Oh, it's that time. It's that is time it, of month. Is it it's that already. Time? Can you believe it's it? It's February 2nd. It's February 2nd. That's the first se- the first podcast every month the first week of every month yeah yeah the first friday of every month when we record the podcast we do our patreon giveaway yes where we give away a game to one of our patreon subs if you'd like to uh be entered into this just head over to patreon.com forward slash positive gaming yes. or x1bros.com forward slash support or you know you can find us you can find and support the show there do you want do you want some intense music you let's uh, how intense let's medium 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 uh, we'll call that speed some speed intense. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna speed give you two. the 1997 oh, yeah. Bulls. Oh, here we go. Intro. Oh, here we go. For the game six. Here we for go. The finals. Here we go. So this is this is our monthly giveaway right here. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the zone, the X1 Bros giveaway zone. We appreciate the support, and as token of our appreciation to support positive gaming, we'd like to give away a game today. And the winner of today's video game. Wait, he gets to choose first of all between PUBG. Ooh. Monster Hunter World oh. and Shadow of War. Yes. Three like fantastic games. I think we'd all say Monster Hunter World. Three at this games point. you can lose your life in. Three games you can't lose your life in. The winner of this month's drawing is Bill Sweeney. All Bill right. Sweeney, come on down. Oh, no, that's a laugh and a sad <laughs> face. But uh, yeah. This is so hard. Celebration. Well, when it's you win, there's a there's a lot of emotions that run yeah, through you. A lot of emotions. You know? <laughs> there, you go. there we go. Congratulations, Bill Sweeney. Thank you so much for your support. If you'd like to uh, join, uh, Bill Brasky, if you'd like to join uh, and support Positive Gaming, uh, oh, please do so. And every month, you can be entered to win a game. Next month's winner will get to choose between Far Cry Five, Monster Hunter World again. Oh. And for honor. Oh, oh that's, oh, good. that's a really good, that's a good one. game. I haven't touched that one in a while. We need to get back. We do to for honor. That we was do. such a. That was fun when I played that that week. That was fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. We got. Uh, we, got news, let's, let's, uh, the, the hype, the we got more news here. Let's 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 pump up the the hype the hype hype intensity. Oh. Uh, we are adding a giveaway every oh. month. Now yeah. uh, to be a part of the game giveaway, you've got to donate three dollars or more. But. We now have a giveaway. Really, we, we topped out. I don't have anything more hype than okay, the 1997 that's okay. Bulls. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we ha- I we're, can do something really low. We're going to add a monthly giveaway, and every month, no ma- everybody is entered to this, whether you're giving us $1 a month, $0.25 cents a month, or $1,000.25. You are some. entered to, wi- to win a, a X1 Bros mug. If you want to see, there's two mugs that you can choose from. There's the positive like gaming the choice. 1980s retro Back to the Future mug. And then there's the classic X1 Bros mon- mug with our logo on it. I got, uh, I got some. I got some. Do you still want music? Yeah, I let's just, do this. Let's okay, do this. Let's do some Kill Bill. How's that sound? Oh, yeah. yeah there there we, we go. go. And so every month. Every month, everybody who supports us, no matter what uh, price point you get in at or what donation you have, you are entered to win a mug. And this month's winner, the Ooh, first the ever first mug, positive gaming mug giveaway, me? goes to the one and only Heath Markley, All right. a.k.a. Shine51. Yes! Shine. Congratulations, Shine. Uh, we will get that mug out to you ASAP. Both uh, Bill Sweeney and Shine, we will, uh, we will email you and... Uh, Handle our business via the, <laughs> the electronic lips. mail. 
there. <laughs> hey, fun fun fact. Yeah. That, fun fact, Speaking that's called of, an email. It's yeah. an email, yes. Yeah. Speaking of mail, did you know the Microsoft campus has its own post office? Oh, I like that. So, uh, you know, if you need to take a break during the day, uh, and just go mail, mail something. Items? You don't got to go across the street. You just go right downstairs. Very cool. The post office. I like that. Yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah, it's very nice. That's super neat, Just man. an added benefit yeah. there that really it's, fascinates Jordan. So what I'm saying is work at Microsoft. Oh, well, you don't need you to worry about mail. And with that, let's get this show on the road. Jordan, tell us what is happening in the world that is Xbox One this week. Some big some big news. Yeah, some really big stuff. news. So uh, let's let's get into it. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> so, uh, no, sorry, I was thinking. So, the oh, re- is this the let me the railroad? Yeah, thing? yeah. Let so that was this. actually going to be my first news story. I just throw it in there. Okay. Rail Empire Rail now Empire. available for uh, for oh, Xbox I like One. It. Now, yeah. does this start? That looks like it starts like in the eighteen hundreds, yeah, the eighteen thirties, oh, and then you need to progress? outthink and outmaneuver your co- competitors as you lead the company I'm into there. the twentieth century. I mean, I feel like I can lead yeah. any company into yeah. the twentieth century. Hey, so hey, me too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> The reason, you can lead them right into the ground. <laughs> the reason I know that post office thing is because I watch random videos at work. Okay. And in my head, I just thought to myself, hey, I wonder what the Microsoft campus looks like. So I looked up a tour video. Was it actually a legit tour? Like somebody just walked Yeah, through? it was like a couple people like, hey, this is our post office. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, I just, that's, if you want to know sounds about a, their post sounds office. Sounds like an yeah, efficient it was, video. It was, it was really cool. <laughs> I thought it was fun. So, so there you go. Yeah. So Rail Empire. Yes. Out now oh, for boom. David. There you go. And then for guys like me, Red Dead Redemption oh, 2. got a release date, everybody. It got a release date. It is coming out October 26th, so 2018, oh, which is this year on October So 26th. exciting. So it was delayed because it was originally sp- slotted for spring 2018. And then it got pushed yeah. back to October uh, 26, 2018. I'm okay with that. I wonder what made them decide if it's, if it's a release timing thing or if it's a... Uh, we just need to to work the polished bugs out. Yeah, I don't know because what else is coming out in the spring? I don't know. I don't. I mean, you're Rockstar, you're Red Dead Redemption. You are not really competing with anybody. Let's be honest. That's yeah. going to be yeah, easily the number true. one selling game. So let's let's re, let's let's rephrase that question. What is coming? What comes out traditionally in October that's going to be destroyed well, you, you by you Red usually, Dead Redemption? Well, you uh, usually no, have your Call of Duties in November ish. Yeah, early November. Early November. Yeah. Early November. Yeah. Early November. Yeah. And this so is late October. Week, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. Battlefield. And then isn't Battlefield. That like a couple weeks before Call of Duty. Yeah. So Battlefield usually does that, but Battlefield doesn't come out every year. So Anymore. it just yeah. depends. Well, they had Battlefront last year, which was around that time, right? They did November-ish. announce. November-ish. They did announce a Battlefield in the news. Do you have that new story? I do not. Okay, I'll pull it up. Continue yet. talking. Okay, I will talk until okay. Jordan is ready to talk after yeah. me. There we go. He goes. <laughs> no, oh, but he's, so he's not ready. <laughs> so maybe so um, it must be a polished thing because I mean, let's be honest. Rockstar is not competing with anybody with their release date slot. They're going to destroy whatever date they release with October. Uh, that's going to be the game. I mean, right now there's one date on my calendar, and that's October 26th yeah. this year. Yeah. As of right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, give me one feature. That you hope comes to Red Dead Redemption that was not in the first. Oh, one. that was not because I I just want the Mexican standoff again. No, oh, I hope oh. they keep that. That was a good that one. was the okay. greatest yeah. starting to any multiplayer match I've ever played. Titanfall jumping out of the plane comes close. Okay, I really like that jump. You know that initial. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you jumping out and being like, Woo-hoo! you know, kind of thing. But the Mexican standoff when you survive. Yeah, you pop that collar and you strut yeah, downstairs and run away and you kiss your wife and say, "I did it." I, I survived. That's how that's how big of a deal surviving that standoff was. Okay, that said, especially in free for all. I know. Oh man, I that was the that was one of the greatest things. Was what was multiplayer? The, what was the? There was another. No, it was that one. Wasn't there what the loading screen in that game? You just sat there and punched the crap out oh, of everybody. Yeah, yeah. Oh, while well, you were waiting for everybody to like load yeah. into the, the lobby, lobby yeah. was just a fist fight. Well, the yeah. lobby was the map, so you could technically go. Look around and stuff. And, and see, yeah, yeah, explore the map. And then yeah. the game would start when everybody was in and stuff. that in itself is fun, too. You know, instead of a, like, let's give, for example, a Call of Duty, just everyone's trash-talking each other and talking yeah. about my mom, you know, in that lobby. Now you can just punch each other. Now you just sit there and punch the Yeah, and the boxing was cool. Each other. It was oh, pretty cool. It was fun. Yeah. It was way fun. I want those two things. Those are already existing. Yeah. So anything, if, anything that you can think of that does that yeah, didn't exist in what, number one that you would like to see in, in number two. One. I would like to see a more fleshed out hunting co-op expedition like type Monster of Hunter. I, I and I hope to also like yeah. Monster Hunter. Yeah, like a Monster Hunter, <laughs> yeah. but like I want to see more sword. <laughs> I want to see more of a fleshed out hunting. Your skin and rabbits with a 
12 foot blade because that's what was fun exploring the world hunting it like i want really yeah. i want super hard well they did have little quests, bits like the super hard and yeah like that's that, cool you know? and then bigfoot you saw yeah, bigfoot, bigfoot uh, yeah. or it's not bigfoot but they didn't call it bigfoot what's the, what's the other name for bigfoot i don't know yeti or something the yeti like, yeah. yes yeah yeah, but I want something like that. Like, I really want the fleshed out. Uh, also, I think Battle Royale mode. That would be. In ba- in Red I think Dead they'll do would it. Kill. That would kill. That yeah, would be so would, yeah. awesome. A cowboy Battle Royale. Oh, man. Well, that one's perfect because you, know, you don't really have that much. Like, And you can use horses as, like, finding You could use horse, horses yeah. to find them. I mean, what they could have is, like, donkeys that are slower than the, yeah, horses, than the horses. And then, like, and then, like stage, stage co- coaches stage to have your posse, your everybody. Your posse in it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. It would be so fun. Yeah. It would. You think that you think that you think that's likely to come a battle oh, yeah. royale mode I think in so. Red Dead Redemption? Yeah, that's probably I why so. they delayed it. That, yeah, I wonder if that is. That was like, ah, wait, let's put this. You know what? Let's actually do a gear system and get this in the game. Make it a part of the. Well, uh, you know, I don't. I mean, yeah. I mean, you can just have random because you can you in that game what you have pistol, sniper, and rifles, right? Like yeah, rifles you, and snipers. I mean, so you essentially you, have a tier. You kinda, could do you know. that, and you could also add armor. And then, yeah, yeah. then guess what we like have leather. is a gear system. Yeah. Like, yeah so yeah. that's, you know. Where Cats. hunting comes into effect. <laughs> yeah. you know? You're running along. Oh, I need to get that rabbit skin. I need that rabbit skin for my boots. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm so excited for that game. What What else are some things? Because I, uh, I want a networking system that works on launch. Oh, guaranteed. That's going to be there. I don't. Oh, I don't I have don't. a doubt. Their track record. It's is not Rockstar. I think is zero for ten. I think Grand <laughs> Theft Auto. I think Grand Theft Auto Online has is one giant beta for Red Dead Redemption. I well, think that's all. It, I think that's. I mean, I don't think that was the initial point of it, but I think I don't that think that's even what it, it default <laughs> has become. It's the beta for Red Dead Redemption. Hopefully, th- they learned. I, I'm sure they learned. Some I think things. they went and bought uh, bought some employees or traded some employees uh, <laughs> yeah. before the trade deadline. <laughs> they with, cut uh, Blizzard, the networking team with and Blizzard, they... and uh, we they should be good. Atheos in chat says master level chaps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a great idea. <laughs> oh man, that'd be so cool. Oh, it'd be so fun. There's just so much that you can do in in a world that Rockstar creates, and yeah. then, and especially in the West. Mm-hmm. That's just gonna be amazing. Yeah, yeah. So, I would ready for this. I would like since it's all about the story is all about something a feature that I would like to see played out somewhere, and they'd have to flesh this out. But since it's all about you're in a gang, I want to see like a world v world type of mode. like a Guild Wars two world v world. Yeah, where you're you like what? your gang. You can join. Okay, you can join can... the. You can join the cavalry. The oh, U.S. Cavalry. Okay. Yeah. You can be on like you the know. samurai, like the Vikings. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Yeah. And then you're okay. you're fighting for parts of the West, and you know taking it so over. So territorial. May, kinda... Maybe you join like the natives, the the settlers, the gang. You know, I think the a, robbers. I think a co-op campaign would be fun. Oh, they're gonna have co-op campaign, no question. They basically kind of had a co-op campaign. Well, they have three redemption. factions, right? They have four factions. They have the city folk. They have the like, just like people on farms. They have the Indians and they have the Mexicans because they have the Mexican border. That's right. Well, no, if, if they're no all, other, are they still gonna be on the border? Saying? I don't know. I, yeah, I, don't I would know. assume. But no, no, I would I'm, assume it's what I'm saying so is, cool. That's yeah, really cool to is, have that. Uh, and then you could Rockstar. have the you could have like uh, Santa Ana. There's yeah. another faction. Yeah, but uh, well, that's what Rockstar's never had a co-op campaign though. But, well, Red Dead Redemption got as close to it. I mean, you could be in each other's world and still do. Uh, no, I guess you couldn't do the campaign I think together. Yeah. Grand Theft Auto Online is as close as you can get to. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, that's what I'm saying. Don't have and, that's, to do it. and that's I think their mode is horde mode, or yeah, the horde mode kind of. Yeah, when it yeah, just yeah. comes in waves. Yeah, There's I think zombies. that's as close as co-op you're gonna get. Returning character. Well, who do you want to see? You go, you can only pick one. Who do you want to see? The mysterious guy that you meet that just who knows what he is. Oh, with the Abraham, the Abraham, the dead Abraham Lincoln. The, yeah, the Abraham Lincoln. The guy. ghost of Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. Did they John ever? Marshall. So I don't know. I don't. Did they? Did was there a solution as to like that they fully wrapped around with him? I don't think there was. No, I think they accidentally forgot to put it in or something <laughs> like that. I don't. So know. it's an episode of Lost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They had the Lost Riders. Yeah, they had J.J. Right J. J. Abrams him, uh, on top of it. Right, you know right what we can do? Let's just shake. put this guy in there and never talk about him ever again <laughs> with polar bears. Because he was almost like an angelic being, really. He, oh, he, always, cool. he always showed up at the right times or there's, you know, there's just pivotal some, moments in the game. There's something about a mysterious entity, a mysterious person that at, makes you ask questions, and he's cool, Yeah, and he's just, just how he presents himself. I mean, 
That's why I like Darth Vader so much in the original trilogy of Star yeah. Wars is he's just so mysterious and bad A and a mm. good bad guy. Dude. Actually, you know what? Maybe he was resolved and we never figured out how to resolve him. Yeah, I'm going to look it up now. You yeah. got me curious. Mm. That's yeah. called cheating. I don't care. We had a discussion on cheating last week. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think basically I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I think it comes down to uh, I don't care what it is. All Next, right. There's some patch notes that. Yeah, uh, uh, Fortnite had another patch, Boom. Uh, which is really cool. This is both for uh, Survive or Battle Royale and yeah. the Survive the Storm mode. So in the Survive the Storm mode, you and your allies uh, get campfire. You can make a campfire. Oh. You can heal yourself, heal your allies, stay warm. So a uh, nice little addition there. There's it's a bunch really of nice. It's actually a really nice uh, yeah. feature. Feature, feature yeah. yeah. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, general fixes uh, and stuff like that, balances. But, you know, the two big items are, one, the campfire for the save the world mode, and then for the battle royale, uh, you get a minigun. Very a nice. A minigun drops in, I believe, the chest, the loot chest that come down. I also... The airdrops. The airdrops, there you go. And, yeah, it's a... Uh, very it's cool. It's exciting minigun. that they're always updating Fortnite. Uh, I mean, it's I think it's here to stay for sure. And it's interesting. Uh, most people that I know switch between PUBG and Fortnite every so often. I'll see people yeah. playing either. Yeah. So I think it's interchangeable. I think they're different enough that it's it's interchangeable for people. Yeah, we had that discussion a couple weeks ago. I don't think it's exclusive to one or the other. I think you're just drawn to that style of game. And they're just ones just lighthearted and fun. And you can dab when you kill a guy. <laughs> and then PUBG is your more hardcore serious. Yeah. And I think those are just, it's refreshing to go back and it's forth. It's style that yeah. that refreshes it. Yeah. yeah. I also wanted to announce at the beginning of the show, uh, we have Deltia from Deltia's Gaming. Oh, yeah. uh, he will be on later during the show. So we're excited for that uh, little exciting. teaser. Stay tuned. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Tease. Rainbow Six. Also exciting stuff. Rainbow Six still out there, still making waves. They are coming out with a new uh, update. So there's Operation, and I can't pronounce this, so I'm going to go Chimera. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Very hey, good. Hey, yeah, 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 baby. High five really this good. way. Yeah. High five. Oh, yes. Oh. You know Nailed it. And then... Uh, you know Hold on. Oh, that's a, that's a full-on <laughs> clap. Yeah. Do you, know how, do you know how many times he's... I'm proud of you, man. That yeah. was a good one. And then, along with that, they're doing a free event called Outbreak. And now what Outbreak is, is uh, this event. It's set in the town of Truth or Consequences in New Mexico, which has been quarantined after an outbreak of an infestation of unknown origin. So uh, your team, I believe, is going to be sent in to take care of this interesting development that's happened over in New Mexico. This all is available on March 6th. So Out Outbreak becomes available on March 6th, and it runs for four weeks, so pretty much the mm -hmm. whole month. But it's just going to be an event, and then Operation Chimera will be your usual downloads, which I believe adds new characters and everything. And yeah. I haven't seen the new characters for them yet, but Rainbow Six does good, man. Yeah, yeah. they do. They do good. The, I mean, Rainbow Six, They're I was always just... top three in what's been yeah, played during yeah. the week. Yeah, yeah. Fun. What? Where do you think they rank as competitive shooters? Do you think pretty that they... Pretty high, I think. I mean, it's a good multiplayer They game. are up there with the top? Yeah. As I would far say as competitive so, esports, yeah. yeah, I mean it's super entertaining to watch. It takes a ton of skill. I don't see a lot of tournaments with it, but that doesn't. I, I don't think that's what we're talking about. I think it's just the popularity of the competitive nature of that style of game. Yeah. I think it's up there. Yep. Yeah, I know absolutely. Overwatch teased us with their new event. Uh, it's basically the basically what they did last year, the lunar event thing. The mm -hmm. you, last year it was you're the chicken, you're the rooster. Nah, I can't remember. Ah, it's one of those. It's one this of those year, animals. it's uh, Year of the Dog. So they have a little 10-second uh, teaser that they showed off on their Twitter account. Year of the Dog. February 8. Oh, very nice. Yes. So uh, what does that mean now. we're going to get? A week get? from now. Uh, new skins, all that fun. The usual, new skins, new emotes, new sprays, new, all that fun stuff, right? Plus, of course, the new event mode that they will have. Yeah. Which might be similar to what last year's was, maybe with a few tweaks, or the exact same, who knows. The right? last year's one was the uh, Capture the Flag. Yeah. And yeah. they kept that in there, I thought. For a while, because it was pretty popular. Yeah. From what it sounded Well, yeah, like, yeah. You, if you're a Symmetra, I mean, it's real popular. <laughs> yeah. Or I know it's a Symmetra when you play that game. Diva and Soldier did a really, like, they were a good combo, because she would just charge in and shield, and the Soldier would sprint, because no one else can sprint, you know? So. Yeah. But, uh, and Sombra, Sombra did her her duty. Yeah, because she, she has the teleport. teleport yeah, yeah, Tracer's really good in that one. So anyway, very cool. So February eight. Yeah, yeah, very cool. So uh, going back to Red Dead Redemption and the strange man, uh, Heketi in chat or Heketi in chat uh, says seriously, Abraham Lincoln guy, the strange guy in Red Dead Redemption. 
uh, represent is the devil. So that is, I actually just Googled it. That is one. So there was no, it's all speculation as to oh. who he was. It seems to, to, to lie around. That's one speculation that he, he represents Satan. Uh, another one is that he, he represent he refers to divine judgment. So a lot of people think that he's like the, the, like judgment or death is who he represents death. Um, because okay. he's a friend of John Marson. John Marson has a lot of close, close things. So if a super, well, if JJ, rock star man going deep, if JJ Abrams is in charge, he'll just uh, kill him off with Kylo Ren, and then that's the end of the story. Yeah. So when, yeah, right. So when questioned, when uh, John Marson actually questions the strange man, he claims to quote be an accountant in a way which many people think hint at him being death. But he also oh. claims not to remember his own name. Hey, super interesting. Question was he's J- definitely a supernatural character. Was J.J. Sure. Abrams in charge of the Force Awakens? Or no, no, sorry. No, the, the second one. You're right. The, the, I'm, I'm last Jedi. About no, 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 I was. I'm, I didn't he, yeah, know. Like, was, I'm a, I think he was a producer. Yeah, yeah. But uh, he was not the director. Okay, yeah, because I was. I was curious if he did that or not. No, no. So it was. Because uh, I didn't know. It was the guy that looked like that that red haired guitar singer. Oh, Ed Sheeran. Yeah, he kind of looks like him. Huh, interesting. That's, Maybe it was Ed Sheeran. <laughs> Yeah, maybe Ed Sheeran's a director too. Yeah. <laughs> Directed uh, by Ed Sheeran. Next story. That's actually really interesting, though. Yeah, no, super interesting. interesting. I love stuff like that. Like I like, I like that they left it to speculation. Actually, yeah. that there was no, was no closure, no for sure answer. Destiny Two came out with a roadmap. Rian Johnson. I... Thanks, Doctor Teeth. Rian Johnson was the oh, director. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's right. Or Destiny. Ed Sheeran, also known as Ed Sheeran. <laughs> Also known as Ed Sheeran. (laughs) So Destiny 2 came out with a roadmap. Uh, Basically, all the features are going to come out over their next couple patches. Give us some highlights. So we already, I won't go over patch 1.1.2 because that's already out. But 1.1.3, which is slotted to remove or slotted to come out February 27th, uh, Nightfall scoring and high score tracking is going to be a part of that patch. Uh, This one is based around strikes and social stuff, right? Boom. So the there's going to be an emblem and aura rework, okay. which is going to be pretty cool. This one, um, I think they might have went across the street to Blizzard for this one. You will be able to see your fire team on the map, oh, which I, I think like is that. actually a really good feature. Simple one that maybe should have been in there. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Who do you? <laughs> little jab, little, yeah. yeah. It's you're, it's you're not simple. I mean, you gotta. So anything, any what what's stuff. the so big things that stick simple, out to but... you that you're looking forward to coming uh, on the Destiny Two um, road, road map? The Nightfall Strike unique rewards. Oh, that's something that a lot of yes. people complained about, that there was mm-hmm. no real advantage to doing those necessarily. Yeah. Or... Unique rewards, which is very cool. I, th- I think that's uh, a lot of fun. So uh, another big one coming in this one point or point three patch is uh, companion vendor viewing. Which from the companion app you should be able to view. Oh, your okay, very, very cool. cool. Uh, oh, moving on okay. to 1.4, that one's going to focus on Sandbox and Crucible. Uh Heroic Strike Modifiers, Iron Banner 6v6, Weekly Crucible Playlists, including Mayhem, and Exotic Weapon slash Armor Sandbox Changes. Which Whatever that means, but that's the highlighted one. Changes, yeah. yeah. So that's... What are they going to do? Just You can already re-roll stuff on it right now, right? Because well, didn't that... I think so, yeah. I'm not I too know. sure. Well, that, I, I guess I wouldn't yeah. know what to do on that. What changes There's going to be Crucible Quitter Penalties. Which will be oh, okay. One. That's yeah. that's important, yeah, I guess. That, no, yeah, because I've had some quitters, and then you're mad at then them. You're screwed at least now I'll have the yeah the knowledge the of t- like, okay, that guy quit and screwed me, but now he can't play for twenty minutes. Good. That, I mean, that's yeah. Overwatch does a lot. Yeah. Basically, a lot, a lot of, of the games do that. Yeah, games do that. Yeah. And then uh, one point two, which is coming out in May, it's a, a whole new season of Contact, uh, Eater of Worlds Prestige Mode, Seasonal Crucible Rankings, Private Matches, Vault Spate. In- Vault space increases, multi emotes, exotic masterworks, uh, mod system improvements. So that's going to be a big one. Yeah, cool. So, but uh, very cool. I feel bad. Everybody takes a lot of jabs at Destiny, but they really are a good game. Like it, it is a fun game, yeah. but there is a lot of stuff that I wish it's a, they did. It's yeah. the love hate relationship. Yeah, it really is. It's it really is. People like it so much that you just you want that. You just yeah. gotta, just gotta. Yeah. Ding. It's hard, but know? I thought that was cool that they put out a roadmap. I actually really like it when games do that. So that's a good time. So we know it's uh, kind of future patches for Destiny, and I think honestly there's something to look forward to in all three of the future patches. No, absolutely. The, they laid out all four patches, but the I think that's smart so that you know what's coming. It's kind of like a teaser. Hey, this is on its way. Let's do this. 
et cetera, yeah. et cetera. That's, yeah. that's a good And I think time. it takes a little pressure off the developers because now everybody's like, oh, okay, well, we know what we're getting for the next few Let's years. take a break here in the news real All quick right. to talk about the leaderboards, the Let's true achievement leaderboards. Them. Every week we are – they're on a seven-day rolling uh, thing. If you want to – Join the X1 Bros True Achievement Leaderboards uh, and see your gamer score matched up against everybody else in the community for the last seven days. Just go to trueachievements.com, hit or type in search X1 Bros, and then hit the leaderboard and just join it. I don't have to be online in order to invite you. Uh, I don't have to invite you into my online session. That's a little jab at Monster Hunter there. Uh, <laughs> you can just join whenever you want. We have uh, we have a, a, pretty, a fairly large, and it's growing every day, uh, X1 Bros leaderboard. So the the top the top guys for this week. Number one coming in at number one on the leaderboard. And this is the last seven days with a gamer score of six thousand two hundred and twenty five. Holy cow! Is Gambler sixty four sixty four? Congratulations, Gambler. TT. Oh yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> TT Dog six six six. Who is one of our? He's on our creative team and writes oh, nice. for the blog. Cool. There Very has good. excellent articles. Uh, comes in number two. Very nice. With a gamer score of 5,210. Buffs comes in at 2,680. <laughs> uh, I got to say, Zula Bus in chat says he comes in in last place with zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Tatey, Tay Tay, comes in at 2,495 and fourth. Fifth is is New York Giants for subs. Viva La Sweeney comes in sixth, and I believe he was in the top last week. Oh, wow, Keep yeah. it up, Viva La yeah. Sweeney. And I wanted to get in. Uh, Freaky RO came in at number seven at 2,120. He said that he has... 100%, he 100% completed four games all of last year. This year alone, he has three. Whoa. 200K, here he comes. Gamer score. Good job, Freaky. He's, uh, all, he's all about that. I met, I've met him before, yeah. and he was worried. He was traveling across the country, and he was worried about getting his daily achievements. Oh, Because there's, there's achievements where you have to sign in and do something every day. Every yeah, day. those are the tough ones. And he's been going strong. Oh, man, <laughs> so good he, job. That was what he was worried about when he was moving his family. <laughs> Dude, it job. wasn't about his family. Boom, freaky, on it, <laughs> yeah. like a boss. Nice was, job, freaky. I'm sure it was about his family. Michael Used was... came in eighth. Tropan came in 10th and in 11th. I just want to give a shout out to R56 Cooper coming at us from Australia. Nice. Very nice. Top 10. Uh, it's getting more competitive up there. The X1 bros are uh, X1 <laughs> like bros that. community is well represented. I got to do a shout out as per request of online squid a chat. A yes. shout out for all those that do nothing during the week. <laughs> <laughs> we love you. We'll call you the lurkers, the achievement lurkers. So I don't even know where I'm at in this. Let me check where I'm at this week. Special shout out to those that don't go for achievements. <laughs> Special shout out going out to those of you right now who don't accomplish things during the week <laughs> there's a golf clap for you. no just kidding no it's actually you can play every day and never get an achievement if you're playing the same game or it's it's actually i got some monster hunter achievements just because i, I made was friends with that. monsters and got an achievement <laughs> yeah. Made friends yeah it with popped monsters? up and said made friend with a monster 10 points <laughs> oh, hey. oh man i've uh, done that in real life Oh, David's, nice. David David uh, captures pets. It's I actually brutal, pets. man. He like yeah. throws a net on him, rips him back, and then throws him in his room. And yeah, they're in my room. Makes him stay I have in a, like room. a I have yeah. like a floating jellyfish yeah. in my room right now. He it's doesn't awesome. even care. Like he just goes out there and just grabs them? him and throws them in his room. Oh, yeah, you just keep them. You don't have to do anything. It's just it's there for like decoration. A pet. No, it's like, like a yeah, gigapet. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, it'd be cool if you could beef them up and then fight them. That would be like awesome. Like pet battles? Yeah, there's these little <laughs> long-haired... They're like a mixture in Monster Hunter between a squirrel and a rabbit. You know what they and should I want do? That. And they should have like PETA involved in the game that comes out and like Dude, complaints about that game David's... is hilarious because they they like go, man, we really need to learn more about this monster. Go kill it. <laughs> and they're like, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> let's do it, <laughs> guys. I it's came, awesome. I love it. <laughs> I came in 162 on the leaderboard. Nice. Let me yeah, see that's what my good. let me see what my my game with a gamer score of 105. Well, no, that's right. probably from there Monster Hunter. That's right? from Monster yeah. Hunter. I think I got three in Monster Hunter. So very cool. Very Not bad. Cool. Not bad. Anyways, come join us every week. Every week we will compare uh, and see how you match up every seven days. It resets itself. So next week, good luck, everybody. We'll see who's number one next week. Continuing, Far Cry 5 came, Far out, Cry with Cry story came out with a story trailer this week, and uh, it looks good. Looks fun. Yeah. Bad guy looks crazy. <laughs> a lot of gunplay, a lot of explosions, a lot of animals eating people. You can always expect a great bad yeah. guy in Far Cry That's games. where they focus oh, all dude. their... 
That's where they that's where they focus the whole board meeting on. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it looks good. It's uh taking place in like uh what well, back east in America. I don't I Or don't back know. west or no, it's, it's in Montana. Like Montana, yeah. I think it's oh, in Montana. Montana, which is All like right. back east north is north like Midwest. Yeah, okay. North Midwest Montana. <laughs> America. Um, basically Canada. It's east in, of in, me. It's Canada and America. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, it looks cool. It showed off kind of some pets, some gunplay, some cutscenes and stuff like that. But it, it and flushed out the story a little bit. Yeah. So. I think I offended the like guy. the five people that live in Montana. My bad. <laughs> Uh, but I like Montana. I, I feel actually like, really, I like Canada and I like Montana. I okay? feel like it's a joke. Being someone joke. that lived in in Canada for a few years, it's yeah. a good time. Well, you you were over in like the Vancouver area. I was right? in British Columbia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Northern Which, Lights. Stuff. I actually want to visit Vancouver because I see pictures and that place looks amazing. It is really pretty. Yeah, it is really pretty. Um, nice people. Yeah, those Canadians. They're nice people. They don't they don't care about anything. Like yeah. they really don't like the most apathetic in just as generally speaking, yeah, most apathetic group of people that I've ever met, and it makes them a good time. <laughs> My main experience is by watching Strange Brew. Oh, okay, and yeah. they're really laid back. Oh, that maybe that's a better way to put it. <laughs> laid back people, most laid back people. It's awesome. Like conversations are hilarious. Like they could get conquered by the by by the U.S. and they wouldn't care. I'm like, oh yeah, well, let's uh, watch some hockey. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, welcome. The welcome you know? in. Yeah. yeah, good people. Good yeah. people. I love it. We should go there. I Vita. would love <laughs> that, Canada. actually. That'd be a good time. Oh, that's huge, though. We'd have to pick, like, a place. We'd Let's go as far north as we can. Okay. I know a place. I know a couple places. I okay. lived. Uh, I lived past Alaska for a while. Really? Yeah, it was a good time. I could throw water up in the air, and it would just evaporate, basically, because <laughs> it was so cold. Yeah, time. you're not in... selling me on this. Yeah, <laughs> let me tell you, that's fun. When people are ice skating past you on the street, you know. You know it's fun. You know, <laughs> uh, oh, man. so be sure to watch Far Cry's trailer because it looks cool. Also, if you want to play Naruto Sh- uh, Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm Four this weekend, it's free for Xbox Live Gold members. Oh yes, very nice. So it's a it's very cool. It's a fighting game. It does that three. It's not side like full side. It's kind of a three D. No, 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 Shippuden. Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm. Did 4. you? Uh, did you? No, we have this game. Did you? Yeah, he yeah, bought yeah. that. He did was you pick excited. up Dragon Ball though? No, no, I did not. <sighs> Dragon Ball Fighter Z or Fighters. Oh, I want. I kind of want to experience it. that game just because I've seen Fighters hi- Ed. I've seen Fighter. highlights of it, and when things blow up in that game, it's like nuclear. It's great, just like in the show. Yeah, it's great. People... By the way, I accidentally started that show. The one on Funimation? No, it's on. It's on Hulu. Oh, on Hulu. Could because wait, what show? Dragon Ball. No, Dragon uh, Ball or Dragon Ball Z? Naruto. Sh- oh, Naruto. Oh, Naruto sh- sh- uh, Nar- wait, wait, wait. Did you start t- Naruto or Naruto? Naruto sh- I don't you know. You got to start one. with Naruto. Where he's? It's this is what happened. Okay, so is, he, I'm is it his the- origin story? Is he a young kid? Uh, so is the nine-tailed fox in it? Okay, hold on. Let me explain myself. <laughs> is he at myself. school? <laughs> I was watching Hunter X Hunter. Yeah. And they don't tell you the show changes if they're out of episodes. Yeah, yeah. And so they go into this scene where they're underground, and this person's like being attacked and someone's running away. I don't know what's going on. And I'm thinking, because animes are crazy, I'm thinking Hunter x Hunter introduced a whole bunch of new characters. And so I watched this entire episode of this anime and I'm like, that doesn't tie into the story (laughs) arc at all. I wonder where they're going with this. And it was a completely different anime and I had no idea. I'm like, oh, because it kind of looked like the same terrain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, is this like, because sometimes they do that. Sometimes they'll just go, Way off the deep end, yeah, yeah, and then just start telling you another story, and then later on, it connects it somehow. Ex- yeah. yeah, and I'm just thinking like, because it doesn't. The Hulu, do, we have the cheap Hulu where they also play ads. They don't say the name at the top when it starts, <laughs> oh. and it just goes right into the. Well, whatever. I love how it started you at like episode whatever. Well, I was just like, yeah, man, that was a weird episode <laughs> of Hunter X Hunter. I had no idea it was a different Naruto. Show. Yeah, did they do a uh, sexy jutsu? I don't even know what I saw. Or I'll be honest. Thousand years of pain. <laughs> On a side note, the Hulu interface uh, is terrible. I hate it. It's the least. Yeah, user I would friendly. say it's second to last place behind Amazon. Oh, you yeah, don't like Amazon? Amazon. Well, theirs is just Amazon is bizarre. I can't give my parents my login info because they'll be purchasing stuff. <laughs> oh, I I fixed that on mine because so that's that happened to me. <laughs> Literally, I was in Scotland. <laughs> I messaged yeah. you. Mm, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I I was in Scotland, and so the times are way different. So it's like five in the morning, 
four in the morning, and yeah. I'm waking up, and my email, bloops, such and such as purchase. You have purchased. Thank you for your purchase of blah 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 blah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is he at your house? Jordan's at my house. <laughs> Just buying videos. <laughs> On no, my Amazon wait, what, what do I do? I, I, there's a system. I, I did I've you got, a favor. We got, got that thief. show. I, yeah. I transfer the money over first, and then I buy. You it. can set two two uh, two factor authentic authentication, so nobody can purchase without uh, it gets sent to my cell phone. If they don't have that code, you can't purchase anything. That's what I did. Okay, I would say on their own devices, I, I, I put it's that money okay-ish. in. Okay, ish. Yeah, you did. I put on their in. so on like the uh, the fire. Stick, stick or yeah. TV? Or I like TV. the TV. Yeah, yeah. the TV's way. B- the stick is terrible. No, stick I have the terrible. Yeah. The, the stick, stick man. It. I've. N- it's bad. But I would say on that device, it works a lot better. I would still say it's still in last place. But if you try to watch on a browser or anywhere else on any other device, it's terrible. Yeah. But yeah, I agree. Hulu. I don't like the color palette that Hulu chose I don't e- on their I don't app. Either. I don't know what I the website looks like. I just don't like the way that it. It's it's retarded. Like yeah. it just doesn't. It doesn't. They're trying to pick stuff for me. Don't. Do, give me, like, Netflix will do it. So Don't tell just me give what me, to do. They, Hulu's, Netflix not about, give, Hulu's not about freedom. Yeah, Netflix, Netflix gives me one bar that says suggested because you watch this. Okay, that's fine. But then it lets me go through and actually search so for nice. videos. You and can look at tons of videos. You can delete that bar. I can delete that bar. Hulu just forces it. I, yeah. had, to, I had to delete the annoying. I watched an entire bar. episode of a different anime, and <laughs> I didn't know it was a different yeah. anime. Because anime on, is anime. On Netflix, I had to delete the foreign movie bar. Oh, because not a fan ones. of the foreign movie. Well, there was one movie called A Man, A Woman, and Their Wall. Oh. And I, just, I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, whoa. Too curious. That's where you look around and go. <laughs> <laughs> Did I press that triangle? Oh, man. <laughs> no, it was a lot of like weird Japanese ones. Well, like not like the good kind of weird Japanese. Two-factor thing. authentication, though. Yeah. Spicy. Take take right, right good care of you. Oh, two factor. Two okay. factor authentication. Because your parents just want to watch stuff. Yeah, and, but they don't know. Don't you turn can on press that instant play. buy mode. Yeah, or whatever. You can don't press play on stuff. I had the same issue. On the Echo. Also, you can go over to that's, there. That's dangerous. So <laughs> when I you have, have stuff in your cart, and you accidentally buy with one click. <laughs> you end up with a PC. He almost <laughs> bought me. A, he almost bought me a PC on the road the other <laughs> you did day. The one click. I turned mine off, and it keeps asking me to turn it on. Yeah. No, it's I like, don't want that on. I actually, true story. I ended up with some shaving kit just two days ago. <laughs> I don't even know how I got it. I wasn't looking at it. I think I think my brother got it on accident for me. No, turn know. on that too. And nobody, my wife can't even purchase stuff. She'll like text me, can you send me that code that just got sent to you? And uh, yeah, <laughs> and it's you great. Go, you no. can't purchase anything. And you just have the power. No. It's like, uh, what is it? A book? Where is that? No, Where is no, that? no you <laughs> no. can't. I have it, I no, have I it somewhere. It. But it's just like some random shaving kit. Dude, Naruto's case a good show. Naruto's use. a good show, man. I know it looked really interesting. Yeah, the jutsus. I didn't know how they were going to tie it back uh, into Hunter I actually Hunter. have the Naruto <laughs> headband and uh, he a does. kunai. Yeah, he does. Yeah, <laughs> he does. It's cool. Yeah. cool. I played with it one time. Yeah, <laughs> sexy jutsu. Yeah, it's the, you'll like that part. Okay. Yeah, okay. and thousand years of pain. You'll like that part. Okay. Too. So, so there's like a million episodes in Naruto. There is. There is. Well, that's, that's you can skip episode forty to like hundred and forty. When you go, when you go eight minutes an episode, you can pump out a lot. And only and they're all like eight frames per second. <laughs> Before we get to the largest news story of the week and what I what is in my mind the largest Microsoft rumor of all time, um, and it's just that a rumor, and I have my opinions on that that we'll get to in a second. I would like to talk about this bit of news that came at us. Uh, Generosity Reactor Leak before the show sent me a link, and I'd like to thank him because this makes me even more excited for this game. Yeah, There's a mod coming, coming to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Kingdom Come Deliverance is out February is it 13th, I think. In yeah, February, it's close to Valentine's Day. Close to Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's to me. I'm so excited for it. Uh, they are coming out with a mod, a Game of Thrones Total Conversion mod. The development team, they were making a Game of Thrones mod for Total War. Total War it wasn't uh, the best for mods, apparently, and they couldn't get it all in there. So they, just, they, they said, hey, we're going to do it for Kingdom Come. The mod promises to feature over 25 playable armies, 30 photorealistic characters, and will strive to accurately recreate and depict all major land forces of the Game of Thrones universe, being equipment, uniforms, and general aesthetics from the series. Kingdom Come Deliverance is this no. game that came up. It was kind of a surprise to me, a happy surprise, and I'm just obsessed with it. And this, knowing that there's going to be these types of mods that you can use in your game. Oh, man, I'm but so excited. But here's the question. Will the mods be available on the Xbox? That is a good question. So I don't the know. The only game it doesn't to do say. that so far has been Skyrim. And far uh, and Fallout and Fallout, yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, Bethesda, 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 yeah. And I don't, I, I think that the fact that they do it uh, opens the doors, for opens others. the doors for for other developers. I'd be Jon Snow, and I really hope they do. I, I, you know, 
ready for this? I don't. I am not a fan of Jon Snow. I don't like there. you. I said it. I said it. it's out there now. Well, he okay. Is out there. Uh, okay, I, wait, 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 With wait. an asinine comment like that, you have to back up. Okay, yeah. wait, wait. No with answer. an asterisk, with an asterisk from the books. So um, he might be depicted differently because I've not watched all the series. I have read all the books from the books. He makes wrong decisions almost every step of the way. But he makes them for the right reasons. The only person that makes them for he's, the right reasons. He's literally no, the only no, person with my, honor in that whole No, no, no. With universe. moral value. No, my favorite character in that entire series is Arya. I think she is going to come back, and, uh, back into I, it. I've never and, read the books, but in the show, who is she a big fan of? Jon Snow. No, no, no. Ah, <laughs> well, that's fine. Goes in the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. No, I don't. I don't. I mean, I don't mind him, but he's not my f- everybody. Oh, Jon Snow. Jon Snow. Jon Snow doesn't do anything for me. Jon Snow's bad A. I, I think Cersei's cooler than Jon Snow. And Jon Snow's gonna kill her. <laughs> Cersei is that's a just good, a matter of time. Jon Snow character. again. Also, I prefer Jamie Lannister over Jon Snow. Yeah, I will admit Jamie Lannister. I think he's. A, I think uh, he is another one. He's a super interesting character, yeah. and I he love... struggles with the right choice, but he'll, he'll like make him. the right choice. Him and his one hand uh, sword play is uh, I can relate to that. I like Tyrion <laughs> as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny, dude! Jon Snow Awkward. has some uh, some hot girlfriends. Yeah, who's though. your who's your favorite Game of Thrones character? Jon Snow. Give me. Jon Snow, Snow because yeah. he has hot girlfriends. Well, no, because and he like I mean, he's awesome. The redheaded wildling from yeah. the north. And I don't know if I can say who his next girlfriend is uh, without the, spoiling. Without spoiling, because no, I, don't don't, know, don't I finished anything. the show and I'm caught up on the show. No, don't say anything because the show, show is yeah. further on. The than show's the further X. on and goes well, a different way. But go, oh, that freaking pisses me off. But don't get messed. So your favorite character from Game of Thrones? No, yeah, because Jon Snow. Because one, he he's the only one in the show that always consistently makes the right moral decision. He defends the wall. From okay, okay. yeah, know, the world, and he's the only one that's like, "Hey guys, I understand that you're all fighting each other, but we're all gonna die if we don't take care of this yeah. problem and back here." Like, and like everybody's like, "No, we're still gonna fight like, each other." He's the David versus Goliath, yeah. and then and then he goes beyond the wall and he gets the King of the North and all them. He's like, "Guys, hey, let's just cool it and all work together." <laughs> and he he brings them back, and then and then when the world is falling into chaos, he's like, "Okay." All right, let's go take back Winterfell and get things back in order, and then he does. But see, and, I didn't know that part. That's oh, further on than the books. Sorry. Yeah, you're you're starting to merge stuff, sorry, dude. Sorry. Anyways, you really just destroyed my So yours my is Jon right Snow, <laughs> spicy. Your favorite. Game That's of, a douche your, move your, that you just did. Your favorite Game uh, of Thrones character, spicy. Oh, my favorite, uh, Tyrion. Tyrion, uh, okay. he's a good he's one. popular one. He's yeah, good, yeah, I appreciate me some Tyrion. Yeah, because he's funny. see, I would put Tyrion. I would put Tyrion. Up in my top three, yeah. Jon Snow, I don't think, makes my top three. Oh, ouch. That yeah. hurts me. And John Tywin. Snow's... I kind of like Tywin, too. I like that Tyrion kills him on the toilet. I appreciate <laughs> You're that. You're just destroying these. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to officially say spoiler alert now, everybody, because because we got Jordan in the conversation. Uh, <laughs> that part was hilarious. <laughs> that is, then that happens in the book, too. Yeah. yeah, David told me that before it happened. Then it happened in the show, and I was laughing so hard. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Yeah. Oh my! Oh yeah, I I like the Onion Knight too. I really like the Onion Knight. <laughs> I don't know who that is. I'm sure by the time that we got to that point, that it was pretty clear that spoilers were going to take. I mean, yeah. I got hit with the spoiler, guys. This is just not a. This is not a one way. No, but did. too, this guy did too. Just yeah, Jordan just. Jordan. whipped it out and smacked us in <laughs> the face with Jordan, spoilers. Jordan, you're so funny. You're like, it's not a spoiler. It happened. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Well, technically, if you guys are waiting for the books, the author already said that the books are going to be different. He said yeah, the overall. I, well, it's ending... been different for, since like uh, book three. Yeah, so the whole thing probably not even going to happen. Freaking in the pisses book. me off. Yeah, it's probably not even going to happen in the book. Okay, my my top three that that <laughs> in no particular order: Arya, Jaime Lannister, and I'm not going to lie. I like Cersei. I think. I mean, I know she's an evil character, but I like her as a character. I think without her, the book would uh, or the series just doesn't have the same flavor. Yeah, I like that she's ruthless. Yes, yeah, she is. I don't know what yeah. she does in the book, but what she does in the show is pretty. Oh, bad. she's ruthless. Yeah. yeah, yeah, she's she's mean. I also think uh, she's mean in the show. Uh, Targaryen, uh, you know, uh, Daenerys. She's she's also makes makes my top. She she could fit in there serious? my top three. Yeah, I think she, she... in the books she kind of bores. Whenever it goes to her story, I get bored. No, she's I like always her. Like, oh, 
I think she. I think she's the. Uh, and we're gonna travel. It's like reading Lord of the Rings when they travel for 150 pages. <laughs> yeah, but she's ruthless too. I see. I appreciate efficient, ruthless decision makers. Yeah, and but it, it takes her like it takes her getting seriously. Well, okay, t- I don't. Tough I don't stuff know. happen to her to make those ruthless decisions. You I know, don't, and it and it takes so long until she does. I get so bored. It's just like, oh my oh, really? gosh! I don't so know she was what one of my favorite parts. I don't know what happens in the book, but I think she makes wrong decisions in the show. No, she's bad, a. Eh? Well, she I think okay. Awesome. Her storyline, I don't want to say it's kind of a cop out, but I feel like I mean I like her as a character. I think she's really cool, but I feel like her storyline is just incredibly convenient for her. <laughs> like every other person in the world, like some bad stuff is happening, but hers is just like incredibly convenient. Like oh. Oh, there's this random town here in the middle of the desert. Let's eat food. Let's have some peaches. Yeah. No, it's more like let's sack it. <laughs> yeah, that's actually yeah. <laughs> with dragons. Yeah. Anyways, Jon Snow does not make my top top Dude, three. Jon Snow. I appreciate him as a uh, stalwart, you know honorable guy. You know nothing, Jon Snow. But uh... <laughs> oh man! All right, what were we talking about? Uh, we, kingdom, should, kingdom, should come, kingdom yeah. come deliverance coming to uh, or Game of Thrones mod coming to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Super excited for that game. If you've not checked out that game, I've been hyped on this since I heard about it, which is like three A weeks ago. ago. Yeah. Uh, and it's coming in February thirteenth. Really excited for that. Let's get to the the biggest. What I deem is the biggest yeah, uh, so Xbox is, um... rumor of all time. This is just a rumor. The biggest Xbox ruler of our time. You are yep. dubbing this the biggest Xbox rumor. The biggest well, Xbox yeah. rumor. Keep it, and keep in mind, it is a rumor. When it comes from there, somewhere. Yeah, with rumor underlined yeah. multiple times. Yeah. Rumor, rumor, rumor. Uh, there's a rumor out that Xbox, i.e. Microsoft, is looking to acquire a studio such as EA, PUBG Corp, or Valve. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Rumor. Rumor. Big, big rumor. So this is my problem with this. No, so first yeah, of all, rumor, rumor. first of all, it is a rumor. It's uh, a lot of news sites have picked up on this rumor. I think the truth in this rumor that's un- un- undeniable is that Microsoft is going big on getting exclusives, right? That and I think they, that's the undeniable they truth. They obviously have a lot right of there. money. They have a ton. I think, what did they say? They had $130 billion set aside. In the couch. Like yeah, 100, the couch. That's liquidable. I think that's what they said. Correct me if I'm wrong. Someone. I think it was $131 billion just lying in Bill Gates's. I think so. Something. His sofa. Something like that. In, yeah. He's in their, just like, oh, you want to acquire in the change, what? In the change yeah, jar. I don't know what that is. Let's do it. In the change <laughs> jar. Like, and then on, it was. Lift up that cushion. Then it was originally. It, this originally came from a Polygon article, and then a bunch of sites picked up on it and went all the way. And even the headline of the Polygon article said, rumor. Blah 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 blah. Like, and I just, I, oh, I think that's so. I think it was a little bit clickbaity on them. Their source, they don't name their source. Their source might be true, uh, but at this point, I don't, I don't think that it is true. But let's, let's assume it's probably the UPS guy delivering packages. He overheard. He's like, hey, man, it wouldn't was, it be uh, cool? It's, off it's like telephone. It's the like other telephone. Day. Someone He's said, like the, someone the said, why don't they just buy EA? And then eventually it went down. And once it got to the editor of Polygon, he said, someone, but they're buying EA. Like that's that's <laughs> yeah, how it went. Yeah. Um. No, let's let's assume that it is true. Out of the three, who's the who's the best buy for you, for you? Uh, uh, well, Valve, I, EA, or well, I mean, pub. If you buy PUBG Corp, that's just kind of like the Minecraft buy. You know what I yeah. mean? You, you, that's you the own... mo- in my opinion, that's the most likely. Of, yeah, that's of the, the three. pocket change. I mean, Phil Spencer Honestly, I... has said PUBG can be Minecraft yeah. for them. He they purchased Minecraft. So. The second most one or the second most realistic one would be EA because you can incorporate EA access into your Game Pass and just completely yep. get rid of EA access, right? And do all that stuff. And you already got like first time DLCs and all that stuff with EA anyway. Might as well just bring them over completely yeah valve i don't know about that valve they're good at what they do but i i think valve wants to be valve you know yeah. i don't know i i don't see valve giving up anything that they own because i mean they, they are good at what they do yeah steam so Dota. most uh most Dude. likely i think PUBG. correct yeah this is so funny. This is like, what planet do you want to buy <laughs> <laughs> these are such big entities it's just that that blows my mind I, well, I, it's, want, it's I so would funny. go for Saturn ah. over Mars because Saturn has a ring. I yeah. I, there, so EA is. Uh, so if you're going for EA, let's let's now let's say they go for EA. What's the strategy? Because it's been rumored like, oh, they well, like you can make Madden exclusive and FIFA an exclusive and blah blah blah. I don't think that that's what no, you would no, do. That's, that's foolish. All. I think that's foolish. Yeah. Well, you would get EA Access, which is essentially the Game Pass, what they're trying to... And you can yeah. merge them. So you yeah. merge it you into, know, Game merge into Game Pass. Uh, I think what they would do is they'd bring out games like, a, like for instance, a Titanfall type of game. And keep that exclusive on the Xbox. Maybe not at this point, but a game like that that my EA is working on that's in EA's library. 
I, you'd keep what you would do. This is what I think they'd do if they bought EA. You keep Matt. You keep all those games multi-platform. You got to keep your sport games multi-platform. Oh, of course, you make more money multi-platform. Not only that, but you leave a is. bad taste in people's mouth. Can you imagine yeah. if, if Microsoft took over and then said, "Now you can only play FIFA on well"? And honestly, Xbox. I think a big plus to Microsoft is as you're loading up an EA game on Nintendo or Sony, right, or PlayStation. Yeah. It's like, yeah, we own it. Yeah, we own it. It's the you same know, as you're, Minecraft. You're paying us. It's the same you idea know, as yeah, Minecraft. You're paying, you know. But this is what I think they do. So you can get it on. You can get those sports games on any console. But it's it's free day one on game on yeah. Game Pass yeah, on the yeah, Microsoft yeah. because that sells that sells that that's a feature that sells that console. Sure. You get you get all Xbox first party titles and all of well, these. Well, that's kind of like games. the idea. That, like you can play anywhere, but the best place to play is yeah. Xbox, and I think that's you know? more what they're they're at this point. I can start to see their strategy. Well, let's put it this way: if they bought EA, I definitely could see their strategy. They're going for features uh, as the best place to to play. Well. Games. The this article, it like you said, David, suggests that they have about 130 billion in their so, cash yeah. reserve, right? Uh, to give you an estimate, EA is compare or estimated to be worth about 35 billion dollars. So at that point, why not just buy all three? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, really. Okay. Yeah, and like I said, they have 131 billion. That's a lot of zeros in yeah. cash. Yeah, in I'll cash. Tell you what, 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 what hey. makes, and that's just for a buy. That's not even their yearly budget. Yeah, like what they're doing. That's yeah. just like ah, oh, they put that in the savings account. Yeah. We'll gain interest, and then when we so want to buy something, they're not <laughs> they're not buying the car. They could lease it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Microsoft. I think Xbox Ambassadors is hosting us tonight on Mixer. Yeah. Xbox Ambassadors. Thank you very much for that. Uh, anybody there at the Xbox Ambassadors got connections? Let Microsoft know <laughs> that we're up. Uh, a quarter of a billion dollars on there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's oh, all for, our, for, for the X One yeah. Bros. You can we have can us do. for a quarter yeah, of a billion dollars. We'll That's we'll a steal. Undercut EA at That's thirty. A steal. If you I get take... a yacht, I'm yeah. selling out. We want to be. We'll be the idea guys uh, sitting in the yeah. back room. That's just like, hey. I want uh, I want skates on that character with rockets, <laughs> and they just zoom past people. You know, like crazy. The idea, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. between the three of us. Yeah, we'll sell out in yeah. a heartbeat. Sell out, baby. Right there. <laughs> Quarter of a billion dollars. You still have uh, one hundred and twenty nine point five billion dollars left. This is, this is a deal. Easy peasy. Easy yeah. peasy. So, out of all of that, let's let's wrap this up. Out of all of it. Uh, I think PUBG is the most ah, uh, noted. Thanks, noted. Hey, Thanks. Yes, that's my right yeah, That's funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the the most likely is PUBG, obviously. For sure. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, if the rumor is because they're not as big as a monster is three. They're they're not worth thirty five billion like yeah. EA is. But yeah. I mean, it can. Be, it, it's like it's like like you said, the next Minecraft. You know what I mean? Or like Phil Spencer. Yeah, I know. I think Minecraft. that I think yeah. that's the most likely. Honestly, I my instinct says that this whole story is lies. The like I said, the underlying truth is that they're obviously hardcore looking for exclusives mm -hmm. and looking for deals and purchases that will give them those exclusives. Uh, I think everything else is is fabricated. Yeah. That's just my gut this instinct. Is, I could be completely wrong. This uh, is a one hundred percent rumor. The, I think this they is one hundred percent rumor. That's why we're talking about it. So. Yeah. So I mean, I I think I think it's fun to talk about. Yeah. I think it's fun to think about. Uh, I mean, when you got that much money, it's like, it's kind of like the first date. <laughs> you question. know what? I actually don't know what it's like to have that much. <laughs> yeah. That's what I want to experience. <laughs> can, you know? Can you imagine what it must be like? You know, the lottery winners that win like a billion dollars, like the big time lottery winners. Yeah. What must that day be like? Can you imagine that day? You wake up, <laughs> you see, you see it in the newspaper. That's that's my number. I just want a billion dollars. What do you do? You, you, well, you have to choose if you do because the way the lottery, you like you take. Oh, I take lump sum every time. Lump sum. Okay. Every First time. thing I do is I call Sweden and I want to I want to ask them how the hoverboard project is coming. <laughs> oh along. yeah, because I that. want that right now. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> that's what I do. First thing I do is I go in and I write a check to everybody that's in my immediate office that I work for for like five thousand dollars, and then I say, "Peace out, suckers." <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I give them the check so that they uh, don't hate me for not training because that that'll put them in a big bind if I just. I would like probably that. do the Sweden thing, but not for the hoverboard. You just made me think of something. Yeah. You know how like the president of the United States or like the the um, prime minister of the United Kingdom, right? All that stuff. They could just like walk into their yeah. office and be like, "Hey, get Canada on the phone." Like, I want to <laughs> have a si I want I want to have a system like that. You want that. the like, red phone that they hey, have I need in the to movie. call Argentina. Can you get them on the line? You're like, I would like <laughs> that would actually be, be like <laughs> that's power, man. That's, hey, yeah. Hey, what's up? You know, <laughs> yeah. What are you playing this Argentina? Doctor Teeth. Have Xbox Live. <laughs> yeah. Doctor Teeth in chat says first thing he does, crap his pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is. Yeah, where and then I pants? just throw them away because I can now buy uh, a really nice pair of pants and walk out with no pants because you can pay that bail. <laughs> you pay that fine. <laughs> yeah. Right off. Bail for how much? <laughs> 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 yeah. 
<laughs> Anyways, big time rumors. I think that, that that's one of the biggest. That's got to be the biggest rumor. Yeah, it came out this week in Xbox history. Uh, yeah. It'll be interesting to see if any of it's true. Again, my instincts is that it's not, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, Deltia from Deltius Gaming. He uh, is joining us on the show. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, check out this awesome interview. What a cool guy. Yeah. Here is Deltia from Deltius Gaming. I'd like to welcome Deltia from Deltius Gaming. Uh, you've probably seen his videos when you went to look up your ESL, ESO build, what uh, what kind of build you should have for your dungeon run, et cetera, et cetera. But more recently, in fact, just today, Deltia has released a video uh, and he's been into working out and lifting weights and uh, living a balanced life. And that's why I really wanted to have Deltia on the show. Deltia, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. You know, I just released that year video of my little transformation. I call it Gamer to Gym Rat. And it's it's just a, it's changed my life. It really has. It's been great. Well, I'll tell you what, I sat down and watched it uh, this morning while I was at work and it motivated. I was like, oh man, I got to go to the gym. It's so bad. I got to go to the gym. So why don't, for those uh, in, in our audience that might not know, know of you, why don't you just introduce yourself real quick and explain a little bit about your history? Yeah, I mean, gaming's always been a big part of my life and everything. And I was really unbalanced for a long time. You know, we had talked before and, you know, I was in the dungeon playing 12 hours a day being an addict. And basically, I had to look in the mirror one day and say, I'm not being a good husband. I'm not being a good father. I'm, and I'm not being a good gamer, frankly. I need to make a change. And I'm like, well, I have this YouTube channel and I've been doing a lot of Elder Scrolls online builds and like guides and stuff like that. But I'm like, I want to document what it really takes. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm not trying to say this supplement did it, this super workout routine did it, but just show you what an average guy over one year, not some miracle thing, and just see how far I can take it and just, sure. just go all the way. And I had gotten shaped previously. I was in the army. I did martial arts and stuff when I got out. So I had been in pretty good shape. So I knew genetically it was possible with the diet and exercise, but I'm like, all right, at this age, 33, I'm not 23 anymore. <laughs> you know, what can I do? And and through the process, I'm telling you, just everything changed. Everything changed in my life. And I had to tackle a painful addiction. You know, that, that was really holding me back. Opioids I was addicted to for 10 years. And I, I conquered that. It took me, you know, two, three months getting off of that. And uh, it was like, oh, what am I doing with my life? You know, and I really wanted to be a good example uh, for my son and balance gaming, you know, and I found that I enjoyed gaming a lot more when it wasn't like eight, 10 hours a day. And I see people struggling with that. And so hopefully people can learn more of a lesson. I'm not perfect. You know, I struggle with stuff every day, but I'm trying to be a good example best I can, you know, let's start back at the beginning. When you decided to start working out, I know you had talked to me a little bit about burnout that you were burning out of gaming and i think that's something that all of us experience at some point or another can you talk a little bit about a little bit about that about your experience with burnout and how you got over it and uh how it felt yeah i mean burnt out as far as gaming goes definitely i mean i think you just have to play things that you like and not what everyone else likes and just you know not the revolving door of first person shooters but w once i balance gaming and actually play it for what it's supposed to be, whether it's entertainment and or social, you know, uh, with MMOs, it's a social event, really. It became a lot more fun. I found the camaraderie was what I was looking for. And I put away the ego so much and I want to be the best player and I'm going to show everyone how great I am. And, and that's cool. And, you know, that's, that's a good thing. But I was like, well, my self-worth isn't tied up in a video game. It's entertainment. And I think I was caught up in the self-worth as my thing and if i'm not super good what am i i'm not nobody but it's like well that's not really the purpose of video game it's not my who i am as a person and so now i'm like well i just want to play video games and dink around i don't care how good i am i'll, I'll try to share tips and things that i learn with people to save them time but the burning out thing you know it, and i'm really disappointing the market and the industry as far as pay to win goes and it's a business i understand you gotta get money and stuff like that but it seemed the industry shift was, you know, like Final Fantasy VII. I could buy that game and play it over and over and over. They had less development, less time, and it was a better quality game, honestly. not I'm not saying graphically, obviously, that's, that's, a, that's a new point. I'm talking about storytelling, rich music. Uh, you, you can't tell me they don't have the Call of Duty budget, right? 
And there was no there was no uh, packs in game. There was no someone holding back content with DLCs, so you'd have to buy it right away. You paid sixty bucks, and that was a hefty price, but you got the game. And I was really happy to see the industry the gamers push back, like Battlefront Two. And you know, I don't mind them making money. And I will support an artist, a musician, um, game developer. I'll buy their shirts. I'll buy in-game little cosmetic items, but that's what was just triggering me. I was just, you know, I had to call a spade a spade. And I was like, I get it. It's a business. We want to make money, but there's a way to do it without exploiting gamers. I was like, I'm tired of being the exploited gamer where they're trying to nickel them. Here's an ammo pack for $5. Here's, yeah. here's a little, I'm like, I get it, but don't make it a part of, I get a hundred bucks and I get way ahead of this guy or gal, you know? How did transition go from gaming eight to 12 hours a day to now I want to be more balanced. Did you have to take a step back from gaming altogether or were you able to do it all simultaneously and just figure out how to balance your time? I know at times I go through that personally um, and I have to adjust when I'm gaming, how long I'm gaming for. Uh, you know what I mean? I mean, it took months and months and months of screwing up trial and error. And I, I'm just an all or nothing guy. So, you know, I, I just basically went from gaming tons of time to saying I'm going to go very little you know, two hours a day, one hour a day, and I'm going to do a million hours of cardio and I'm going to work out all the time. Well, the body doesn't respond to that. <laughs> and so you can only work out so much in a day. Sure, yeah. And that's where the balancing comes in. And so at first, you know, it was like, oh, I'm just going to work out. I'm going to get ripped right away. Didn't happen. And I was almost going counterproductive because I was going so much where my body was fatigued and stressed. And I wasn't enjoying gaming and I was just, you know, I had these two conflicting worlds. And so obviously I had to balance it and say, look, dude, you're not going to be Mr. Olympia in one year. <laughs> so enjoy the training, do that and really focus on the food, really focus on what you're eating. And, you know, if you, I, I found I love walking infantrymen, the army. And so that was something I could do that really didn't stress my nervous system. I could incorporate it with my family. So when my wife and guy got off work, my son, take him. He wakes up at five in the morning. We get up really early. So it's like, well, in the summertime, I'll walk with him. So there I, I spend time with my family. I'm exercising. I'm not stressing my central nervous system. And then I can do, you know, one hour of hardcore ass workout and then have a productive day. But at first I screwed up. I mean, <laughs> I am a classic example of extreme. And so I'm going to screw up over and over and over and over. And that's kind of the message of the thing was that was part of the reason my body wouldn't respond for the first four months. I was just doing too much. And, and you have to work your way up to it. And in gaming, there's diminishing returns. There's diminishing returns in your body. So you want to do the least amount to get the most result as the very end process. Because when I was that ripped and lean, getting an ounce leaner took extraordinary effort. Where at the very beginning, it didn't. And as far as balancing gaming, the number one thing and number one advice I can give people, and this took 10 months, like I said, to realize is take a day off of it. One day off. So I'm talking very limited usage of the phone, very limited usage of the PC, absolutely no games, no solitaire, nothing on your phone. Now, you take a day off from everything else, you take a day off from work, you take a day off from, you know, every, so right is Sunday fun day with my family. No gaming. I ain't answering emails. I'm doing nothing like that. You're just going to have to deal with it. We're going to go to the zoo. We're going to go to a museum. We're going to go have dinner at my folks. And it was like, wow, that was the biggest thing is that when it was just Sunday, it's like, nope, this is this is what we're doing. And uh, that was the best balancing point because you get excited about playing games Monday. It's not a chore. It's not a thing I mandatorily have to do and log in and do dailies. And through this experience, I kind of like reference it in my videos, life dailies, you know, you got to spend time with my family, exercise, do something for others. It's a simple checklist. It's a simple rule uh, of the, what I, what I come to value and realistically in life, all you have is your values and your actions based on that. So people define success on how many views, how many subs and stuff like that. I don't look. All I have is my values and my actions speak and I, I work towards those. So what I, you know, pay, creating a positive gaming environment, there's tons of other toxic gamers out there that get tons and tons of views. I'm not interested in that. I'm going to do the thing, make a little safe space, have fun, enjoy life, 
try to be a good example because that's all we have is our little values and they're they're different from everyone else you know they can be different but just work on them that's all you have and once you work on your values and stop worrying about how popular you are how good you are at a video game and you enjoy it for what it is life opens up starts blossoming and my life ain't perfect video games aren't perfect but you can start you can like all the little road bumps and blocks in your life you realize okay it's just a part of it you know it's just a part of it and like me starting off this journey you know it was hard to believe it was hard to believe from so how how fat i was and how out of shape i was and and you know like my body didn't change right away but you just had to believe it was possible and just keep at it how long did it take to you to get into the zone the balanced life the gaming the workout putting it all together and now you're in the zone how long did it take you to get there it was honestly eight months eight months yeah a, a year of as in um january mid of january and okay. so roughly august is when i kind of figured out end of august type from okay. time frame my body fat was really high and i was at 215 pounds and um i got down to 175 which doesn't sound like a lot of weight it was 40 pounds but i was at less than seven percent body fat like wow. rip rip to the bone without drugs so I was proud of my success and I built a lot of muscle. I got lean, but it took every ounce of a year to do it and peak. But I learned so much through the process. I, it was just, it was just like, you're your own science experiment. And I just read and read and read and read and just kept, okay, well maybe this works, maybe this works. But once you light the fire, once you figure it out for you, because everyone's different based on their genetics. Once you figure out the diet, the balancing, the gaming, find a game you really like that's rewarding, find a community that's positive, do it, stick with it. But it took eight months. And you know, I was just extreme. I'm just going to work out. Well, no, that doesn't work. That doesn't make my life valuable. You know, so it's like I forget who said it, but um, you have all these aspects of your life, family, friends, uh, your job, and then your health. Right. And if you neglect any one of them, it, start effect, it starts affecting the other ones. So it's a balancing act of trying to maintain them all at a similar level. And, you know, towards the last eight weeks or so, I you know, told my wife, like, look, I'm going to have to go hardcore, anal retentative about food. And that causes a lot of conflict because people aren't going to get it. It, it. And it's the food. It's, it's the food hands down. So I remember walking out of my grandma's funeral and I had a cold chicken breast and broccoli and I'm eating it. Wow. And, and that's just kind of the type of dedication you got to have for me personally. Some people had the genetics to do it, but it, it was just, and then I just, the gaming was so much more fun when I came back to it because I was like, okay, well, this isn't the only thing going on in my life. It really isn't. It's, but it's a fun part of it. So as you took a step back and focused more on your health and your family, did you find that gaming was enhanced more? I wasn't, I wouldn't say enhanced because at first, my skill level was so off that I really wasn't used to it. I think most people, you know, they, they, there's, there's certain talented people like my buddy Cypher PK, that guy could pick up any game and five minutes into it. He's really good, but they don't also see that he plays 12 hours a day or 10 hours a day or whatever. And so he has talent, but he works really hard. And that's what produces a one percenter. Me, I didn't have so much talent, but I played a lot, played enough to overcome that. So when I went back into gaming and I kind of try to, it's like, well, do I step in tippy toe and I'm not that good? And, or do I go and lose all this again? You know? So yeah. it's like the mental amount, I enjoyed it more. My time in the game became valuable, rewarding, fun, and had a purpose because we've all been there where we're logging into a game where it's like, I'm logging in just to say I logged in, or I'm logging in to do a daily or, well, dude, that's it's not a job for you. Even if it is your job, try to find some type of value or something. So making it about other people is what I found to be the most enjoyable is trying to, you know, help other people, try to train them up, get them gear, just do something else. Cause like I've accomplished everything I want in the game. So it's not that much fun, but to answer your question, I wasn't necessarily say enhance. It just took a different um, role, a different, a different feel, which I wasn't used to. And at first I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I can imagine that's so frustrating because you go from being at the top of your game and playing all the time to probably, and I don't know if this is the right word, but casual, you go to a more casual approach 
regardless, your game, your game skill probably, I mean, obviously suffered, right? Yeah. You, you go, you go, your approach changes and, and it's hard to deal with. We have egos and I'm no different. And, you know, I want to be good at whatever it is I do. And you have to kind of somewhat let that go and be who you are and be okay with it. And it yeah. took a minute for me to do that. It really did. You're a big MMO guy. Elder Scrolls online is your game. And I know you took a break from that. Uh, I jumped into some destiny two for a while. I watched some of those videos. What did you think of it? And how was switching from an MMO to a Destiny 2? Well, what I thought of Destiny was interesting in the fact that Elder Scrolls was such a hamster wheel in terms of you had to play so many hours a day to be relevant in terms of gear, getting farming materials to upgrade your gear, so on. It was a big time commitment. And you also had to factor in the skill. Where Destiny was like the hamster wheel wasn't there. In fact, there was no hamster wheel where they basically like, you know, you'd beat this raid or whatever they called it. Leviathan was the first one. And then you couldn't get any rewards for an entire week. So it was basically like you go in there, you finish all your stuff and then you're done for the week. So it's like you have a super grindy hamster wheel that MMOers are used to. And then you have destiny where it's like, there almost is none. I mean, after the initial grind of getting your characters up now, yeah. For me, balancing work and all that stuff, it was actually really nice. I liked that. But then I, I kind of felt that itch where it's like, well, you need to reward players in some fashion, not maybe necessarily power. So the person that can only play an hour a day, who has a job and a family and this and that, doesn't, you know, isn't completely irrelevant to dude that sits there and plays 12 hours a day. You have to find a way to make both of those players somewhat even. So the 12 hour a day guy or gal can, you know, get a cool costume, can get a cool title, can get some glowy, shiny things. They'll play all day for that. Where the person that comes on an hour, well, they're not super irrelevant. So that's such a hard thing to do for gamers. And I think Destiny 2 missed that. And, you know, after a while, I was like, well, I need, I need to go do something else. But I love the game. It was beautiful, had great lore and stuff. It was like what I wanted Mass Effect to be. But at the end of the day, it's like, well, it was very little to keep me playing besides the people. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people felt like that. So did you have a chance to jump into Destiny 1 or was this your first Destiny? Yeah, this was my first Destiny. So I didn't experience, and a lot of people were saying, comparing to the first game, I really had no frame of reference in regards to that. But, you know, as a long time MMOer, you know, the, these first person shooters are now becoming MMOs because they see, essentially they can keep people attracted. And they can make tons and tons of money. And, yeah. you know, they can get pay to, pay to win stuff where you can get weapons instantly. And that's another good example of it, you know. So it was one of those games I think it was good and, and stuff like that. But, you know, it, it's going to take them a year to get adjusted to what the community wants. And most likely shooter people, they're on to something else, you know, unless they have a really good community. Very cool. So I'm a gamer. I go and watch your video. I watch your gamer to gym rat for the first time. And I think, all right, I need to start. I need to get my life together. I need to get my butt in shape, but it's intimidating. Going to the gym is intimidating. There's so much out there. There's so much information. Sometimes it's contradicting information. What advice do you have for a gamer looking to get fit? Keep it simple, stupid. Honestly, there are carbs good or carbs bad is running good for you is running bad. You know, there, there's a, you look online, you'll find the answer that you want. But is it the right thing? Start with the basics. Movement, eating less if you're trying to lose weight. If you're trying to gain weight, eat more. What should you eat? It's simple. Start with vegetables. No one wants to hear it. It will it will how to get freaky ripped. The most freaky ripped human beings on planet Earth eat vegetables eight times a day. <laughs> There's no secret. It's the most impactful for you. It doesn't taste the best. It's the lowest calorie. It's the most nutrient rich. It's just an incredible source. So switch your carbohydrate source to that and walk. People over over exaggerate. Like, you know, they think that you have to go to the gym and lift weights and do this. If you don't like it, you're not going to stick with it. It's better to find something that you like, whether it's yoga, martial arts, walking, riding a bike, it doesn't have to be hardcore unless you want to take it to that place. But start with the simple basic stuff, which is you people would not believe that entire year process. I did not do cardio. I, I maybe rode the elliptical a couple times and did intervals. I did like sprints 
okay. and stuff like that. But if you're talking about steady state going for a run, right? I just didn't do that. I really, it was just walking at key times. So I, I wanted to do that to show, look, he's going to be a marathon runner to be lean. That's not how this works. It's really the diet. And so going back to the diet, look, protein, people, it's the new hot buzzword thing. All this stuff is cyclical. If you're working out a lot with weights, you need a lot of protein. If not, you don't, <laughs> you know, stick with fruits, stick with vegetables, eat the right things that are unprocessed, some lean, you know, proteins here and there, nuts, almonds, the stuff people have been telling you forever. You know what to do. It's just doing it. And it's the consistency. It's better to go 85% on your diet than it is to go 95 for one day and then completely goof off the next. Okay. I'm back on the diet. So if you have to have an Oreo a day to stay on chicken and broccoli, do it. It's that consistency, consistency, consistent. You can't screw off and then expect these results. Just being consistent. Do you have a cheat meal or a cheat day? All the time. <laughs> so it's, it's actually really good for your metabolism to do that because your metabolism will adjust to the amount of food you're eating. So the goal that I took, the approach that I took was, all right, I'm going to spend four or five months eating as much as I can clean food to where I'm not gaining body fat. So I'm going to speed that metabolism up. And then slowly, I'm going to either take food away or I'm going to add exercise in the form of walking or something that's not good, you know, not stressful in my central nervous system. But once a week, twice a week, I got to have five guys. I got to have that 2000 calorie five guys burger, a large fry and just go to town and it speeds up my metabolism. I feel better. I'm in a good mood. And usually you do that once you feel depleted, once you're like not excited about going to the gym, once like food is just on your mind 99% of the times. Like, all right. And there was times, I mean, you're going to screw up. I'm a human being. I screwed up. I mean, I remember a couple of times, I mean, diet was driving me so crazy that my, I found like a box of Oreos. I, I, I smashed the whole thing. I, <laughs> the Costco box too hot. <laughs> oh, it was huge. It was huge. Huge. My wife had like one Oreo and I, I just like, <laughs> like a dog. I was like a filthy animal. Like you would set this food in front of me and I don't think I was done there. I got like a couple of pop tarts and everything else. It was, it was just, it, it couldn't be enough. And so you're going to screw up, forgive yourself, move on and learn from it. So the thing I learned from that was, all right, it's probably better to eat a little bit more the day before then go to crazy animalistic mode yeah. and reward, reward yourself. So if I lost a pound a week, which is what I was aiming for at certain times, I'd go have a cheat meal and celebrate, you know, have some pop, have French fry and boom, go for a walk. I'm back on it. So a pound a week was your goal. And you talk a lot about goals. What about gaming goals? Do you set gaming goals? Do you think you should set gaming goals? I think that's really good. I think that's really important and something that people don't do. So one of the big ones I had was becoming emperor in Elder Scrolls Online. And it took me two years to do that. I failed live over and over and over and failed and failed and failed and failed. Another one is like this veteran Maelstrom Arena, which is essentially a, you know, a solo player, hard PVE thing. Sure. And so... You can treat this fitness thing and gaming the exact same way. Because if you can be successful at one thing, you can be successful at anything. So it's just breaking it down into measurable attributes, practicing, seeing what the best people on planet Earth do and modeling your behavior at that. You do the exact same thing in a video game. So for getting emperor, I, I found out what were other emperors doing? What are the things that I need to do uh, to do this? Who do I need to recruit on my team? How much skill do I need to have to have this? So setting goals in video games is really, really important if you're looking to accomplish specific things. And if your goal is entertainment and stuff like that, focus on community. Am I spending time with people that I want to spend time with? Because, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. When you're, quote unquote, an elite player, I'll never say I was the best at any one thing, but there was times when I was pretty good. Hanging out with other elite players is becomes bothersome you know like really? we're all trying to we're all trying to one up each other huh. everyone's you know thinking that the other person's a cheater it's not exactly you know it's just it's very competitive and sometimes it's not the best atmosphere you want to be in so there's a cost to it you're going to spend a lot of time but accomplishing those goals man accomplishing emperor Nautilus goes line is still one of my greatest gaming moments in history and some people got it easy i didn't i had to work for it and so when i got there it was really, really rewarding. So if you have something in game you want to do, just 
put it put it out there. Don't don't think it's going to happen overnight because all these really good players like my buddy Cypher PK or whatever, he plays a lot. He's very talented, but he plays a lot. He looks at all the math behind the game. So it's more than just picking up a controller if you really want to accomplish something. I think you've touched on something uh, that I absolutely love, and that is gamers are best equipped to be successful. For instance, the work and hard the hard work and discipline that it takes to be successful in a game is the same hard work and discipline it takes to be successful at work with your family, the same discipline it takes to be the best Call of Duty player, the best at Destiny, the best ESO player. It's the same discipline and hard work that it also takes to be successful at the gym, in your career, with diet and exercise. The consistency, it translates so well that I think gamers are some of the best equipped people to be successful in any area of life, but we don't talk about it. And I think you nailed it. I think you nailed it with your YouTube channel, the way you live your life, uh, this year-long journey of gamer to gym, right? And I think you're the epitome of that. So please keep it up. Yeah, I appreciate it. But gamers get a bad rap. But honestly, like if most gamers would approach their life or their goals, like we do dailies in our gear, I mean, we have all the tools to accomplish those things, right? And we have the attitude. And it's just that never die. I don't care how many times I fail. Because – when you succeed at whatever you do, no one gives a crap about the pictures I posted a year ago when I was fat. It's about the results. Hmm. No one gives a crap about me failing an emperor a hundred times. It's about the time I got it. Thomas Edison, Albert Einstein. I mean, you go Tesla. I mean, you know, Elon Musk. You go through the greatest Titan giants of our society. They failed over and over and over, but they weren't afraid to get back up and keep going. So some people are more talented. Some people have better genetics. Some people are gifted at video games. I can't control that. But what I can control is my effort and my never quit attitude. That's what I can control. Oh, amen to that. So what's what's next for you? What's the next big game you're looking forward to jumping back into or into, not back into, but into? I like other shows online, but the MMO genre has really changed. And I think there's a couple of the Kickstarter games that may change the, the market, specifically Ashes of Creation. So the thing about Ashes of Creation is still in early development, you know, pre-alpha. And um, being a part of that and possibly influencing the development on the game, as in when it comes out in two years from now, it could be something that, you know, harkens back to the old school MMO, which essentially is community is the number one most important thing. Players make the game. As in, like, I remember getting a phone call when I was playing Warhammer Online at work. My friend's like, dude, they're taking our guild keep. I need you to get off work right now. <laughs> like you have to come, you have to come online, defend this keep. Now that was a little bit extreme in my college days or whatever, you know, but, <laughs> but like, it was about that sense of community. It was that camaraderie. And I just don't find the need for that in today's game. So I really like these, these Kickstarter games because they're taking risk and Nowadays, everything's just a triple A, you know, rehash with a different skin. They got the shooter of the month that everyone flocks to. And I'm just uninterested in it. You know, we, you and I were talking beforehand. We we're talking about Fallout 4. Mm. I still I still play that game and I love it. I oh, love yeah. it. Rich storytelling. The environment's amazing. And if people crank out great single player games, I'll crush them. I'll play them all day. And that Monster Hunter game I know just came out, got great reviews. So it's something I need to expand. Is it good? Monster Hunter is absolutely blowing my mind. Okay, ready for this? I struggle in a lot of games doing the grinds and the fetch quest type of missions, doing the same thing over and over to level up your character. But something about Monster Hunter has me looking forward to almost every quest or bounty that they have. It's amazing. I'm going to have to check it out. But yeah, I need to expand my horizons and get out of my comfort zone. I, I kind of con constantly talk about that, you know. <laughs> but yeah, when it comes to gaming, I, I, I don't take risk. Like if it's not from this developer or something. And, and you know, I think you, you and I had talked about Zelda and some of the games and Nintendo products were coming out which were really spectacular. And I don't know. It's like if, as an MMO guy. You know, if you're not playing your main game, you're not like advancing your stuff, yeah, you know, so yeah. you're like, dude, I'm going to spend an hour playing. I might as well get in there and get this gear, and you know, and so I need to take yeah. some risk and play some different game and find what yeah. I like my fire. On that note, and I said this a couple months ago, Bethesda has become one of my favorite current developers. What they're doing is refocusing on single player story games. When you look at Wolfenstein, Doom, 
prey, the evil, the evil within. Bethesda is really behind these single player story games, and I love it. And speaking of ESO, a lot of people are guessing uh, a new Skyrim announcement this E3 or an Elder Scrolls announcement this E3. How awesome would that be? I'd freak out. I mean, I lost my life when the L- uh, Skyrim came out. I mean, I- I'll tell you a story real quick. I was uh, off teaching, and 11, 11, 11, never forget. I bought, you know, I was in Baltimore, Maryland, you know, thousands of miles from home. I bought a laptop, $1,000 laptop, just to play it for this weekend. Comes out on a Thursday. I did not leave my hotel room until I had to show up for work at Monday at 7 in the morning. Wow. I mean, you're talking about, like, you, you go on this game, and you're like, dragon breathing fire snow falling down i i go oh there's a butterfly the butterfly is leading to a cave two hours later i leave the cave oh wait there's a there's a skeever oh the skeever's in a cave what's in here you know it's like that is gaming that super you know enthusiastic i gotta just keep Oh, finding man. out what's here you know oh man the immersion the skyrim had was so good where you feel part of the world you're affecting the world for instance and i'll never forget this the first time i saw a giant in that world i was in the snow giant comes down with this huge club and i was blown away i was terrified but i was blown away and that's just something that movies can't give you that's why i love gaming there's no other medium that can get me that kind of immersion uh that video games can yeah it, it's your story and remember like the first time you killed a dragon you go back to white run spoiler alert and like <laughs> and um and the, the the town guards like you really killed that dra- i can't do an imitation you really killed that dragon or whatever <laughs> and i was like dude this is my life i love this game like every little quest nuance that you did affected each other yeah. and that's what i miss about you know mmos is like like these days quests and stuff like that but you're really just grinding there's no that immersion where it's like guard talks to me, you know, blah. And yeah, they really do a good job of, you know, getting it ready to go. I mean, sometimes their launches have been skeptical at best with some bugs and stuff, but today's game, they're so complicated, so big. I can, you know, deal with a little bit of that, but to keep it in house and, if I was an employee, oh my God, I'd be texting my friends I'm like, dude, you can't believe what we made. You think killing dragons is cool? First row doll, wait till you see this. You know what I mean? I'd be going crazy. He is Deltia from Deltius Gaming. Go check him out on YouTube. Be inspired by him. Uh, uh, Deltia, where can people find you? Uh, and what's coming next? What's yeah, up? I mean, as far as what's coming next, I want to be streaming Ashley Creation, maybe a little crow fault. Now there's crows in line, of course, as always, but uh deltiasgaming.com is my website that's kind of the main hub same with the youtube channel and twitter and this year what i want to focus on is community both online and in, in, in person so i'm trying to as crazy as it sounds trying to open up my own gym free for veterans i'm a veteran it's something i believe in and to be honest with you if i didn't have little bodybuilding or this life change i'd still be a bad dad i'd still be a bad husband i'd still be a bad gamer where lock myself isolated and streaming and that stuff is fun, but you got to contribute to society. So if I can light that spark for one person, if I can give them a safe, safe place to push it and find out what they're made of, then my life will be worth it. So that's what I want to really want to focus on this year. And it's going to be a challenge just like, you know, everything else, but I'm willing to keep doing it fail. And just, just takes one time to succeed. That's awesome. Keep us updated. Thanks so much for being on the show. That is Deltia from Deltius Gaming. We want to give a huge thanks to, to him for coming on the, the show and just sharing his inspiring message with him. Go check him out. Go check out his YouTube channel. DeltiusGaming.com is his website, his YouTube channel. If you're big into ESO, mm-hmm. ESO has kind of seen a huge uh, resurgence in our community lately, uh, especially if you're in Discord on the MMO channel there. Everybody's playing Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, he's got tons of build videos. He, I use uh, some of them. He does yeah. live streams, the whole shot. What what build do you use for me? Uh, he, I, he, because I started a Templar a while ago, and I sure. think he had a Templar build that I watched. Yeah, so I've, yeah, because I when ESO first came out, I started watching him. He's 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 really good. Yeah, he's a huge mover and shaker yeah. in the Elder Scrolls Online community, <laughs> and just an all around cool guy. I love his message. It syncs up perfectly with positive gaming. Uh, so go check him out, Deltius Gaming uh, over on YouTube or DeltiusGaming.com. With that, uh, Mr. McSpicy, what will you be up to, to this week, and where can people find you? I'll be doing some uh, hunting. Monster hunting, yeah. that is. I, I gotta, actually want to play get the that game. Hunter Dude, I'm so ex- I am so excited for you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, don't, don't forget, by the way, uh, tomorrow is the community play. We got Forza 7, 7. tomorrow. I downloaded it this yes. week. Yes. The enhanced version. 
I, I hope so. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's not I, a separate I, download. It's yeah, the same, I, the same I, one. Yeah. Now I'm scared. <laughs> but the, f- the I have first TV. I want to use it. <laughs> Everybody, the first and third uh, Saturday of every month is a community play. Uh, tomorrow is Forza 7. And then, well, let's see. I have the dates here. Then Saturday, February 17th. We are bringing back because, by popular demand, because it's the funnest community play I've been involved in yet. Halo 5, that baby. Was so good. It's Saturday, February 17th. Mark it on your calendars. Uh, if you join us over on Discord, you can definitely uh, just keep up to date on the, the weekly community plays. But Forza 7 is tomorrow's community play. Anything else? Uh, where can people find you, McSpicy? Uh, Gamertag, Mr. McSpicy on Xbox Live. And I guess my Twitter is at Mr. McSpicy. I'm just Mr. McSpicy. That's Mr. McSpicy. Yeah. That's the spice. I, that's me. The spice. E-Y. E-Y. Not just Y. It's C-E-Y. E-Y. <laughs> spicy. Jordan, how about you? Um, I'm Jordan Man XOB everywhere. Oh, very nice. Everywhere. What are you doing? What are you going to be up to this week? Probably Monster, Monster Hunter. Hunter. Probably very Assassin's nice. Creed. Uh, I myself. Probably some other stuff. I myself am jumping <laughs> into a retro Destiny. Yeah, that's uh, right. Yeah, raid. Which this one? week with the Destiny clans? Uh, I don't know which one we're doing. I forget. I apologize. But again, over on Discord, we have uh, we have some great Destiny clans, some great people, people running those. People. So big, big great thank people. you. Big thank you to everyone there. Thank you for everybody for joining us live here on Mixer. Uh, Mixer.com forward slash X1 Bros. You can join us every week. Stay tuned, everybody, in chat, because we're going to rate somebody right after right after the show here. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. We will see you guys next week. Have a good one. Stay positive. <laughs>